Have you heard about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street? You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Oh, I clash a bit with that, don't I? I didn't realise. How is everybody? Have you had a nice week? I have. I had a lovely week lying on the beach. Now, I need to tell you, I didn't sleep very well last night because, well, you know, sheep, when the, a fox comes round or anything, they all stand still and start shouting. Well, it's about half past one this morning, there will obviously a fox in the field behind because every sheep that was out there, and there were hundreds of them, stood still and were going, bah, 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 and it frightens the fox off. The thing that worries me is literally 30 seconds later, Luther came running in through the cat flap. So I don't know if they thought my Luther was a fox or whether he just got frightened by the noise. Then at about half past three this morning, the farmer decided to move them all into a different field. So you could all go, where are we going? Where's he taking us this time in the morning? And I'm like trying to sleep, boys, girls, I'm trying to sleep. Anyway, good morning. How are you all? Shall we start with today's early bird? Here we go, today's early bird. Tweet, tweet, tweet. I'm hearing a lot of noises I don't normally hear today, but I'm not quite sure what's happened. Anyway, look what we've got. To look what we've got to today's early bird. Only the quilted bear steam iron. Ah, uh, no, already at a fantastic price. Already at an amazing, amazing price. Now, if you're thinking, well, what do you get for your, for your 28 99 before we crash, before we crash, because you see what you get, right? Uh, what you get is you do get one of these. Now, we can show you in a minute a price comparison for just the case on its own, right? Right, what you get inside. Now, I'm gonna, actually, I'm going to open the new one because that one, that's the one we use here. Let me open this one. The unboxing experience. People do this, don't they, on Instagram and everything. They're just people unpacking boxes. I don't understand it either. But anyway, look. Inside, you do get your little iron. You get your little jug to fill it with and you get your instructions manual there, right? Now I can show you the one that said I've already used out of the box. So, I mean, already, you know how much you can pay for, uh, for irons this size. And they show, oh, I can't actually show you this one at all. No, 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 it's the right iron, but somebody's got a red felt pen and drawn all over it. I'll show you later. Let me open a brand new one. Now, this one belongs to Paul upstairs in the office. So I'll get in trouble for opening this one, I think. I know, I did, I, well, I was, I was looking for this this morning, right, in the secret cupboard, and I found a box of these upstairs, so I nicked one. Anyway, that's Paul, our buyer, that, uh, they're behind his desk, anyone wants to say. So you get 1.9 metres of cable, look, 
loads of cable it's a really really gorgeous little iron look because you've got it's a steam iron I know, it's a steam iron. They call it a travel iron, but most people have it as their um, next their sewing machine, don't they? So the little thing there is where you put your water in. These are your little windows to say how high you can fill it. That one there is your steam on, steam off button. That one there's your little old fashioned dial, which I love. The little red light on the front there, that switches on. And then once it's hot enough, it goes off. And then um, what goes here? That's your little clip for your wire there. I'm not sure what those two little eyes there are for. Never seen those, I've never. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, uh, there's, your steam, there's your holes for your steam underneath. And your ergonomically designed um, handle with soft silicon around the edge, so there's no way, it's a lovely weight. Take the travel aisle, you have it, have it on the table next door to your sewing machine. Right, early bird. It can't go much down, because this already, this already is a fantastic price. 26.99. 26.99 saving two pounds saving two pounds now we will show you in a minute how much you want to buy one of these on its own costs you're getting that in there and you're getting your little jug and you're getting instructions and you're getting and you'll see all our designers using this everybody uses this in fact Stuart was going to use this today but I'll have to um I'll have to get I'll have to use this new one I'll have to use this new one 26.99 I know make sure you go through make sure you go through now remember once you've bought this and you've checked out that's your PMP paid for for the day so whether you buy a quilt kit or you buy Stuart's other quilt kit or you buy one of Delphine's kits people waving at me through the door is it cat oh it's cat okay, not our cat cat has moved now to next door um she's been on the early shift they've been on the early shift um Yes, exactly. Um, and uh, you should PMP paid for. PMP paid for for the whole day. I know. Even if you buy a sewing machine. Even if you buy a sewing machine later. Oh, I can't see the screen, Kat. Uh, morning, John. I hope you had a lovely holiday and recharge your batteries. Heather, I had a fantastic time, thank you. And I did recharge my batteries totally. Uh, of course, with the, being within, in here within the first half an hour, I was stressed again. But apart from that, it's all okay. Thank you. Oh, I've missed you, John, says Reva. Thank you, Reva. Missed you too. You are going to be a bit bored because, nice to see you back. Hope you had a great break from Carol. No, no. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I'm in for five days in a row now. So I can imagine the grump I'm going to be in by Saturday. I, I, I wasn't meant to be in on Saturday, but Vic's messaged me yesterday going, can you do Saturday for me? I'm going to, I, 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 and I said, yeah, of course I can. She went, I'm off to Thailand. I was thinking, Thailand for a day? She's going to a Thailand festival in Leamington Spa or Warwick, somewhere like that. Anyway, anyway, keep going through, keep going through. Do a price comparison for the case. It's not direct comparison because it's a different make, but I'll show you. This is for the case on its own. Oh, can I? Oh, $16.99. $16.99. Just the case. Just the case for $16.99 there. Oh, my word. Right, while you're checking out, I'll just do this. Jan, the other one, says, uh, good to have you back. Marie says, good morning from Islington. Isabel says, good morning. Welcome back. Sue says, morning, John and team. Love to have you back on our screens. You've been Miss Margaret says, good morning, John and team. John is back and brought Facebook back with him. Ah, oh, thank you. Marina says, normally, normality is restored. June says, morning. Welcome back. Ruth says, morning, John and team. Lovely to see you. Looking fabulous. Hope you had a fantastic holiday. That's from Ruth in Durham. Lulu says, morning, John. Glad to see you. Judith says, morning. Love to see you back. And Hilary says, hello. Anyway, at 26 .99. Keep going through for this. It's today's early bird. Now, you, you're not supposed to have this. This wasn't supposed to go below 28 .99, Just so you know. Oh, oh. Hannah's just... Hannah's read her notes now. She wasn't meant to crash at all. $28.99 was the special purchase price. I thought it was because it was the price we brought it in for my birthday show, wasn't it? That was the special price, right? So Hannah thought, oh, it's only because I have to crash, crash, like that. She's, she's a bit like this today. She's a bit like this, right? She's been like that for a couple of days. She has these funny weekends or funny days where she just can't, poor old Steph. The, the new boyfriend, well, he's not that new anymore, is he? But the, the boyfriend the living lover he um he the first time it happened he was like what's some she literally will go for two days and not just wake wake up go feed me and then she go back to sleep again i know every few months it happens to her i think you just must need to recharge your batteries every now and then you'll need another holiday after all that i will heather i will i will heather I could well i've got another one booked but apparently there's more issues coming there's more cancellation i didn't have any issues at all 
Manchester Airport sailed straight through. Uh, Alicante Airport straight straight through, and coming back Liverpool straight through. The only the only delay was the aeroplane was a bit late getting there. Oh hello Roy, look I'm nearly as suntanned as you. Now had a lovely time, thank you. That's the oh is that the right colour? Oh, he's just got some yellow fabric for later. Twenty-six ninety-nine. Uh, John, love to have you back. You don't get stressed, you, John. Uh, it's always a pleasure for us, isn't it? Oh, thank you. I do get stressed. I get very stressed. Uh, what's the matter, Han? Oh, loads of messages. Sorry if we don't read them all out. They're falling off the bottom of the screen again. Twenty-nine. No, not twenty-nine. Twenty-six ninety-nine. Twenty-six ninety-nine. Welcome back, says cousin Susan. Good morning. I like the shirt. Says Roxana. I've got this iron. Says Lulu. It's brilliant. Hillary says morning, John. It was lovely to see your holiday pics. Andy Lynn says morning. Lovely to see you. Glad you had a good time. I had a lovely time. Thank you. Right, we're going to have to go. We're going to have to go. But I've got to go home now. That's my day finished. Now that's my day finished. Uh, shall we have a look at today's menu? Here's the menu. Jason Yenta Fabrics. Gorgeous, gorgeous fabrics coming up in the first hour. Uh, then we've got, I'll just give this to Kat so she can have a look at it. Moda Effie's Quilt. Moda Effie's Collection with Stuart Hillard. Uh, it's rather gorgeous. Got a picture, please? Oh, no, leave that out of the phone. There it is, isn't it? Lovely. It comes in two colourways. We've got it in the green and we've got it in the lemon. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, look. Gorgeous. Be kind, Bruce. Be kind. Oh, be wise now. Be wise. Be wise. Be yourself. Now, we've got a funny story about that, which I'll tell you about in a minute. Is that it? Oh! And we've got be clever. We've, yeah, the stool just collapsed up. I think the stool might be broken, everybody. No, the stool's definitely broken. The stool's definitely broken. I'm going now. You can't see it. I was going to sit down, but every time I sat down, the stool collapsed. I can't sit down even with my old bones as well. Anyway, uh, Hannah went on a date when she was about, how old were you, 16, 17? And her mum said to her, whatever you do, Hannah, don't be Hannah, don't be you. Anyway, 10 o'clock, back to the menu. 10 o'clock, we've got sewing room tools uh, and the fabric from that nine o'clock hour. Then at 11 o'clock, we've got Tilda floral wreath quilt, which is gorgeous. Look. Oh, now, it looks better in real life than that, doesn't it? It was the one that was behind me just a minute ago. Anyway, and then at 12 o'clock, we've got gorgeous batik fabric and a couple of sewing machines. Right, there are three ways you can get in touch. The first way is by email. Blimey, I forgot then. I forgot my whole routine then. By email, studio at sewingstreet.com. Studio at sewingstreet.com. The second one is by Facebook on Facebook Live. They're the ones that I've been shouting at and it's working today. It's actually working today. Patricia says, said, good morning. John, I love you from Blackpool. Jan Hill, morning, gorgeous. Lovely to have you back. Just had to restart my phone to get Facebook up. Your batteries are well charged. Oh, I'll just not be exhausted in a minute. Anne says, morning, lovely to have you back. Sue says, morning, John, you look fabulous. Uh, Tilly says, good morning. Susan says, so glad you're back and on for a few days. Anio says, wonderful to have you back. Would you have a lovely birthday? It was Anio's birthday. I've got a different stool this time. It's a very odd. I'm not at the right height, and it's also a tilt tilting back. Uh, I can't, I'm not going to be No. It's a standing update. And then the last way is by the uh, going on the website www.sayingstreet.com. What you do is you go to the front page. That's you, Hannah. Click on watch live. Oh, it's not on my telly. There you go. Click on watch live. You'll get me in the box there. You'll see that the mini iron is there. Scroll down. Oh, no, don't scroll down. There's a box on the right-hand side there. Hello, John. She's put... I'm Hannah, it says. Anyway, that's the, the, the messages that come on the bottom. Then, scroll down the page. In a minute, there will be two columns. The left-hand side will be show deals. The right-hand side will be pre-orders. Everything from the next five hours is there. 
everything from the next five hours is there to see. Veronica says morning from Grimsby. Pauline says morning, John. Glad you're back. Claire says good morning, John. Smashing shirt. You look well. Karen says morning, lovely man from sunny Camden Town. Here we go. There's everything. Look, everything for the next five hours. Whether you want it or not, it's there. What's that? I'm just looking at all the things I've got there. Got the grabby hand. I've got all sorts. Anyway, anyway, we'll jump to back to the beginning. Just jump back to the beginning. Right, so first hour of standing up is Jason Yenta. Beautiful. Now, we've never done this bundle before. What Hannah's done is she's collated lots and lots of different blue ones from different ranges and put uh, 14 different fabrics here. Going to look beautiful together, aren't they? Let me just put that in shot for you. There you go. Oh, we're going to take some money off for you. No. Right, so we're not taking off meter off. We're taking more money off than that. Taking it to under 100 pounds, but it's still be on split pay. 99.99, just shy of 100 pounds then. 49.99 two ways. So that makes it, let's think if you're, well, I can't do that in my head. 14, yeah. Right, while we do that, we'll have a look at these. Now, I don't know if I've seen all these before. Oh, beautiful, aren't they? £7.14 and a half metre designer fabrics. Normally £7.99 and a half metre, these. Oh, they're beautiful, aren't they? They're, now, I've not got that many of these, as you can imagine. And when it's gone, we will not be able to make it again. Oh, no, aren't they lovely? Not, oh, no. I'm going, oh, no. Not very many. Oh, aren't they lovely? Have you got a favourite, Hannah? Let's have a look at them all. Bruce, that's Bruce's favourite. That looks, oh, that's nice. <laughs> How do you spell it? Halcyon. Halcyon, yes. And resplendent. It's a mix of Calypso. She can say that word, all right, can't she? Because it's a drink. I'll have a pint of Calypso, please. Oh, there's the one Bruce likes in a different colourway, look. Well, it's still blue, but a different kind of blue. Oh, I love these. Loads in baskets. Make sure you check out. Make sure you check out. Should be 108, was 108 something? 108 pounds and 36 pence that should be. You getting it today for 99.99. Okay, they're very limited. Right, uh, now, uh, how do I work that one out? Basically, once you've all checked out, there's only one left, but you do need to check out. Can't make any more, can't make any more, that's it. What's, what have you called it? The big blue. The big blue fabric bundle. She wasn't feeling very inspired that day. Good morning, John and everyone. My sister Julia is here in Derbyshire with me for a holiday, says Susan. That's nice. More people got this in baskets than we've got stock of now. If you love Jason Yen, you're going to adore this, aren't you? Two split pays of 49.99. We send it after the first payment's taken, remember, so you don't have to wait till you've paid the whole 99.99. Right, three left, three left now, but how many have got in baskets? Seven people have got in their baskets, only three left unchecked out. I'll wait with you just for a tiny bit longer. Helen says, good morning, John. What lovely fabrics, aren't they indeed? Message on my bottom. Morning, John, love the exploits of Shirley and Kenneth. Uh, good to have you back. Now, I just very, very, very quickly have to explain this because first of all, Julie calls Mike and I her twins, right? We're not twins, he's five years older than me. Uh, yeah, got to clarify that. Secondly, somebody messaged me yesterday going, isn't it lovely that you've gone holiday with your twin brother and sister? Julie's not my sister, she's married to my brother. And the Kenneth and Shirley thing comes from, because people are going, oh, who's Kenneth? He looks very much like John, right? 
So very quickly, right? So Julie, she won't mind me telling you this, right? Julie had breast cancer about nine years ago and she lost all her hair, obviously, during chemo. When it grew back, it looked a bit like this, right? And she went to a dinner party once and she said, um, some, and she texted me the next day, I'm so excited. Somebody at the dinner party said, oh, you look like Shirley of um, EastEnders. So I was like, are you sure he said Shirley? And she went, yeah, yeah. So I sent her a picture of Shirley from EastEnders and she was like, what? Any, I did send a picture of her looking her roughest. Anyway, I also got, when I was working at Rocks & Co, somebody said to me, how do you do it? How do you work it this morning? Rocks & Co and Benidorm. And I was like, Benidorm? What's Benidorm? They thought I was Kenneth, the hairdresser from Benidorm, right? Yeah, the, the, the chubby one with the, the bag and the little shorts and everything, right? So we became Kenneth and Shirley, see? So it's our holiday names. When we get up to mischief, we're Kenneth and Shirley, see? Anyway, back to this, 99.99. Have I got any left? Oh, okay, okay, I'm going to fold it up because there's more people adding to their baskets, but you do need to check out. I'll do a check at the end. Got a purple bundle, not quite as big. Right, yeah. Well, it's sort of purple and magenta, it's like four, is it? One, two, three, four. It's called medium purple for some reason. Well, first of all, yeah. Julie says, good morning, John and team. How are you, Julie Vaughan? Anyway, 29.99. You get half a metre, half a metre, half a metre, half a metre. They're already cut. Mixed collections again. Lovely, aren't they? So there's that one there. Yeah, no, yeah. Okay. Morning, John. Love seeing the video of the quilt blocks. Didn't know how, don't know how to choose. They're all wonderful. Marjorie, aren't they? What Marjorie's talking about is, you know, we had the competition where you bought the panel for £4.99. Uh, you had to buy it before June the 30th, right? You had to make a block out of it. And then on Friday, I'll be announcing the 12 winners who they're going to put the 12 together, make a quilt out of it. It's going to hang at Festival of Quilts. And those 12 people will all get £100 worth of credit added to their um, accounts. There's a video on Facebook. Go and have a look. Don't go now. Don't go now in case you miss anything. Go in the break. 29 that. One, two, three, four. We did that already. $29.99. No, uh, I did it when we were still selling the block. Yeah. $29.99. Cat, is there another stool anywhere we can nick? Thank you. Beautiful. Right, moving on. I will double. Oh, you're right over there. I will uh, re recount those later. Can I do this one next? I love this one. Oh, it's going to sell out. No wonder, I love it. Look. Look, it's like a rainbow of... What, how... Bleh. Bleh. Look, oh, look at that. What have you called it? Halcyon rainbow. It's beautiful, isn't it? Let's see if this one works now. Oh, it's sold out. It's sold out. Sold out. Cat's just brought me a new stool. Please, miss. Right, that one's sold out. That one's sold out. That one's sold out. Quilt. Oh, these quilts are amazing. Do you want the green one or the light one or the dark one? Dark one first. Right, this is so clever how he's done this, right? So now, here's the quilt. It's got a lot of bags here. Hang on. Oops. Right, look. This is the finished quilt, right? This is the finished quilt. Isn't it beautiful? That's the finished quilt. Right? Now, now, now right? You get 11 metres of fabric, right? You get what, a two metres of this and nine metres of this. And you're kind of going, how on earth do I make that quilt out of two bits of fabric, right? It's so clever. It's so clever. Right, look, I'll show you the fabric. Do you know what? I'm going to show you the fabric open by the half metre here so you can see it. But you, you get nine metres of it. 
you get nine meters of it, right? But look, right? What you do is in here, you've got templates, right? Look, you've got templates of the triangles that you have to cut out because it's all made up of triangles, right? And then it tells you whereabouts during the fabric you cut those triangles out, right? It shows you it. So what you do is to create this kaleidoscope here, all of those triangles are cut here in exactly the same place. And then you put them all together and it creates a kaleidoscope. This one here is the pink with the fern, right? So that one there is you cut all the triangles out there and you join them all together to create a kaleidoscope. It's so clever. And, watch this, you're getting 20 pounds off, 164.99. So 11 meters of fabric, plus the instructions, plus your templates. Right, that, hang on, let me put that, that goes back over there. Right, that, that, and that, for 164.99. I know, brilliant, isn't it? Gorgeous. Oh, you know the big blue bundle of fabric? There's one left. One left now. That's it. One left. So, this fabric here is obviously for those squares there. And then all of this is created by using that nine metres of fabric there. I oh, know, it's brilliant, isn't it? Uh, Yvette. Good morning, John and team. Great day of goodies. I tell you, Yvette, it's gorgeous. Stunning day today. In fact, the whole week's good. Kate, how are you? Morning, John. How fabulous are you gracing our screens in that gorgeous shirt? Hope your holidays were fab. Oh, Kate, you don't do Facebook, do you? All the pictures, the whole week is, um, what's it is on Facebook? Uh, what's it? I haven't been to America. Did I? Uh, they were fantastic. They're really relaxing. Thank you. Right, then we've got it in the other colourway, which is the lighter colourway, which was very... When we, did, when we launched this, well, I thought the black one would be the most popular. I was completely wrong. This was the more popular. I won't get those instructions out because I can show you them on here. That is what your finished one will look like with this, right? Single figures, though made in exactly the same way crashing to the same price yeah have you written the right number here right let me show you the green fabric then i've got the big blue bundle is now so blimey so the big blue bundle sold out the rainbow bundle sold out single figures of the purple medium matter of fact naming right so this again you get nine meters of this fabric Oh, come on, John. What you do is, again, you cut your triangles out. It's the same pattern. So clever. So clever the way he does it, isn't it? Oh, pardon me. There we go. Beautiful. Nine metres of the ferns and two metres of the splodge. Plus your instructions. 164.99. Oh, that's fantastic. Jason, we've done it with Jason. I've only ever seen Jason Yen do this. He did the one with the dolphins and the whales, didn't he? And now he's done the one with the flowers. And I love this around the border. Be fantastic to see one made up, wouldn't it? Tina. Morning, John. I hope he just came and said, I knew he was back. I could hear you laughing. Oh, Tina. The, what? That's like Hannah when she was sitting there watching the telly and the postman delivered a post into her living room. I know. The door didn't work. When she moved in, the door didn't lock. She didn't know. Just let himself in. Anyway, it's gorgeous, isn't that fabric? How does six four ninety nine? She doesn't mind because Hannah finds that out of all the uniforms, she thinks the postman's uniform is the sexiest. It is, she says it is. Right, that's that one. 
Nice, Miss Jean Mabotta. TH. What does that mean? Thank heaven. No. John, great to have you back. I missed you. Just bought the Kaleido quilt. Uh, I so can't wait for this to arrive. Have a great day from Kim in Bonnie Bridge. Oh, Kim, when you finish it, will you let, which one did you get? The green or the black one? Uh, let me know. I want to see it when it's finished. I've gone back. Oh, hang on. That's, no, that's... Oh. This is the green one we've got in. There you go. That's the one we've got in um, vision at the moment. There you go. Right, here. Let's... Oh, let me just put that away. I have got a book. Thank you. I have a dream, a song to sing. I saw, I saw Vix did the uh, um, ABBA tribute again, didn't she? Right, Halcyon Quilts. Oh, Halcyon Quilts. So this is Halcyon that I've got coming up now, is it? A mixture of Halcyons. Some of the Halcyons have sold out. But you don't have to use just the Halcyons. Yeah, you can mix them up in colourways. Oh, the big blue, look. You could use the big blue there. Celtic knots. They're big quilts as well. The block is 22 by 22 at 19 and a half by 19 and a half inches. These are gorgeous. Oh, oh, now look. I've got this fabric coming up. I've got this fabric coming up. Come on, Bruce. We haven't got all day. Yeah, I've got that fabric, I've got that fabric, got this fabric, uh, got that fabric. I don't know if I've got that one. Anyway, that's called Garden View. You can use any fabric, but it's got all the templates and everything you need in here. Magic coins, we all need some of those, don't we? Then all, there's all your templates, look in the middle. Midnight Garden. That was a film, wasn't it? Oh, Tom's Midnight Garden. I'm thinking of Secret Garden anyway. Oh, my word. Look at that. Beautiful, that one, isn't it? Then we've got Rose Kingdom. Oh, this is a lovely book. 1799. Look how it's, everything's broken down in so well. Easy. Oh, look love it and don't be frightened by it they're not difficult indigo vines now that must be a plique surely that one yeah plique a plique with blanket stitch around the edge if you want it hannah that's hannah's favorite in there and she's going to use her big blue bundle and buy a few greens i've got coming up in a minute well i've got the greens coming up now yeah well if you no, she'll never make it there he is, our Jason. Oh. Bruce, were you digging then? He lives with Gracie the cat. Who's it, Bing, then, then? Oh, Stuart. Stuart Bing in outside, everybody. Anyway, beautiful book, 1799. Oh, who's that from? Michelle. Michelle. Hi, John. Happy belated. Happy birthday. It was mine too. So I hope yours is fab. I've been away in sunny Lanzarote for a couple of weeks. So just tuning in. Oh, yeah. Because it was only what, 19th it was. So 19, 20, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, yeah. No, it was only two weeks ago. <laughs> Feels like ages ago, doesn't it? Keep going through for the book because I've now got the fabric so you can make those, those quilts out of. Are they the two from the green and the black? Yeah, yeah. Oh, right, now, uh, some of the pictures on the web for both for this and for my lovely batiks later, you're going to be disappointed by the pictures but not the fabric. Do you want the black or the green? Black first. Oh, no. Right, so you're buying it by the half metre now. That there is half a metre. So you get multiple bits of the strip, you see. Multiple, isn't it lovely? I'm going to put it down now so you can see. I'll put it that way so you can have a good look at the pattern. But obviously if you're going to make a dress, a skirt out of it, you'd have to cut the panels this way. 
other ways to get there. Wendy says, hi, John, on our way back from Cornwall on a coach. Oh, you're watching on the coach. Gemma says, good morning. Lynn says, good morning. You're looking well. Pauline says, lovely to see you. Well rested. That won't last. Wait till tomorrow, this time tomorrow. Carol says, good morning. Louise says, oh, thank you for the explanation. It's my pleasure, Louise. So I'm here for Lou, 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 Lou. Right, that's the black one. Now I've got it in green. Seven ninety-nine five meter. The cotton itself is beautiful. The fabric. So there again, again on the picture on the website, it shows you one strip. But that's what you get for your half meter. And if you buy multiple, they all come joined together. It's not a panel. It's fabric that you can buy. Imagine that as a skirt. Right? Oh. Excuse me, imagine that as a skirt, how beautiful that would be, as a, like a big circular skirt with those panels going round it. Oh, Hannah can only see borders on a quilt, but she's in that kind of mood today. A bo now, good mood, but a border mood. She's bored of me. Ah, uh -huh. she's missed me, she says. She has to say that because it's her birthday on Friday. Of course, now I'm not going to see you then, am I? You're doing what? She's doing her birthday show on the 13th. What day is that? Am I on? Oh, you're not even on with me doing it. Well, she's coming in to produce it. Oh. Good morning, John. Beautiful tan, says Anne. Thank you, Anne. You see it around here. Do you know what? The first day, right? The first day on the beach, and I covered myself in oil and left, you know, my, my fifth act, 50 fact or whatever it's called. Went for my shower that night. It had, my tummy had got brown round like that. It was white in the middle. It was like a big polo. And I was thinking, I don't know how, why has it gone white in the middle and brown all around the outside? It was really weird. Anyway, 7 99 I'll move on. I'm going to be doing that again, Kat, in a minute. So. Uh, in fact, we need to leave it out for Stuart to use. Or has he got one? Right, where am I going next? I buy the half meter now. Look at all these. Oh, I don't know where to start. Now, this is not a bundle, right? These are all the half meters I've got to show you now. Yeah, I'm just waiting for the camera to come to, to focus. There you go. Look at all of those, aren't they beautiful? I don't know where to start. I'm going to start with these on this side. Right, so let's do this one first. This one is KYUQ36. Now remember, these are by the half meter. 100% cotton. This one is called Halcyon from Jason Yenta in the beginning. Right, this is all I've got. What I've got now for this is all I've got. Let me just move that outside so I can make this. There you go. It's only been on air once before and almost sold out already. Single figures on this one. Loving your shirt, John. Looks like William Morris. It isn't. It isn't, uh, Julie, but it's lovely, isn't it? Thank you. Cheryl says, morning, John. Nice to have you back. Looking great. I'm sat waiting for the doctor to phone. Oh, dear. You could be waiting a while. Come on in, looks beautiful. It's, it's like flowers, but done in that kind of, it's almost batik -y style. It's not batik. He, he loves batik, doesn't he? He's inspired greatly by batiks. Uh, this one is called Autumn Leaves Dark Green. Well, the background is dark green and they're called autumn leaves because they're all those lovely oranges or autumnal colors, which we don't want to talk about yet. Apparently it's going to be scorching on Sunday. So I'm going to be out on my garden furniture on Sunday. So am I, I'm off on Sunday. I seem to have an awful lot of time off this month, I have to say. I just looked at my road to yesterday and I was like, oh, don't they want me anymore? Right, so that was that one. I've also got that one. Oh no, it's different. I'll just go through, I'll just... Oh, have we? Yep, there we go, I've got it in purple. Ooh, now what kind, what have we called that, our purple? Oh no, I said they called it autumn leaves because it was orange. Obviously not, because this one's called autumn leaves as well. It's beautiful, dark, moody, mystical that, isn't it? 
Now, I think I made my ginger water very early this morning. It might have gone cold. Oh, I've had, I found out more about my throat. It wasn't just gastric reflux. I've got a... Oh, now I can't remember. When they told me what it was, I immediately thought of Hannah, and I can't remember now. No, it was... Um, I want to say... Um, <laughs> I've got to be careful how I say this. No, it's, uh, 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 it's like drippy back neck or something like that it's called. Yes, it is! Post-nasal drip. And I thought, well, yours go like this. Like, <laughs> when you have one of your turns. Have I got that in another colour as well? I have, haven't I? Is that the same one there? Uh, G-U-U-Q-84. Bruce, I didn't know you were a doctor. Bruce. Why? Oh, that's it. He said the one thing he's going to say. So, uh, well, how do I get rid of it, though, Bruce? This one's called Autumn Leaves in Blue. Lovely. Oh, I think that might be my favourite of the three so far. Beautiful colours, aren't they? The cotton is so beautiful. There's only seven metres of this one left. Jill on the bottom. Could you wish my grandma and granddad a happy 75th wedding anniversary celebrating with five generations of our family? Jill in Leeds. Jill, what are their names? Jill's grandma and granddad. That's their names. 75 years. Se I'm lucky if I... Well, 75 years. No, 75 years, no, I don't think I'd manage that now, would I? Well, you never know. Oh, no, 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 not even, no, I wouldn't know. Not with me drippy, what, what's it called, Bruce? Post-nasal drip. Right, let's go on to this one now, then, because this looks like the same but bigger. The number of this one is uh, LHUQ96. Oh, there's only two meters this one left. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Crazy Lorraine, morning, great to see you back, looking good, thank you. Oh, Carol says in capital letters, yes, we do still want you. Yeah, but you don't do the rotor, Carol. Lynn says we'll always want you, thank you. Oh, yes. Moving on. Now, let's do HZUQ83. I've got this in three different colours, look. Yeah, this one. It's beautiful, this one, isn't it? Oh, I love it. Oh, Dot and Jim. Dot and Jim, apparently that's like EastEnders. What, was Dot married to Jim? Oh, well, there you go, Dot and Jim. Anyway, happy wedding anniversary, 75 years. And five generations as well. Their granddads, their grandparents there, are they? Yeah. Anyway, 7 99 this. Beautiful, isn't it? Love the speckled background. Love the leaves. Love the little petals. They're what? Uh... They're like the purple flowers that butterflies like. You mean... I know exactly which ones you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll tell you in a minute. It's on the tip of my tongue. It's what? Yes, they are, yeah. Beautiful though, aren't they? How much this one have I got? Okay, there's only six and a half metres, but, but 11 people have got it in their basket, so I'm going to move on, because I love that one. Um, is it a Buddleia? It is indeed. Well done, Kate, it's a Buddleia. This one is the blue version, and it ends 82. C-U-U-Q 82. <gasps> oh, you see, that's nice as well. I'm seeing a lovely frock in that. 
What was your favourite meal while you're on holiday? <laughs> it happened to be an Italian meal. It was very delicious in a new Italian restaurant there. I had vegan ravioli, thinking, oh, that'd be horrible. It was delicious. And then they did this beautiful focaccia bread with pesto on it. Oof. If I did the road tour, you'd be exhausted, says Carol. Thank you, Carol. I am anyway. That's lovely, isn't it? Seven ninety nine. Now I've also got it in pinks and lilacs now. I'll tell you now. Don't put me out. 89, you're right. Only five meets this one left. It's called Halcyon Vines Green Purple. Ah, Halcyon Vines Green Purple. That's Hannah's favourite. Very secret garden, is it, that one? Gorgeous. Right, I'm just going to have to take a break from fabrics. I need to warn you about the book because we're single figures on the book now. Halcyon quilts. We're loads of these single figures now. From Jason Yenta, 17 99 It's a beautiful book, look. Look at them. Um, the thing is, I have to use the fabrics that they use, but I mean, it just shows you how stunning they can look, doesn't it? Gorgeous. Not difficult. Not difficult garden view. Say that again. Very achievable. $17.99. Look at that one. I love that melange of colour. Okay, way too many of you got that in your baskets now. Seventeen ninety nine. Make sure you check out. It's not yours. Remember till you check out. Ch -ch 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 check out. Yep, lovely. Right, I'm going to go to this Kalei. Oh no, I'm not. I'm going to do this one next. Right, so I've got this one in three different colourways. Right, I'm going to do forty five first. J O U Q forty five. Five metres left, that is it. <gasps> and we're not getting any more. Beautiful, isn't it? Look at that. Oh, it's what, is it what I had? Yeah, they are. Come in close, Bruce. Please. Oh, hang on, he's got to get the camera in. It's playing up. Camera's doing its own thing. Oh, look. Hannah just said, doesn't it look like the flowers made up of little squares? Well, they are. And I love the kaleidoscopes in the background. She's just learning. She's only been doing it for how long? Five, six, seven, eight years? Oh. Seven ninety-nine for half a metre. That's beautiful. That's going to sell out. That's the multicoloured one. Then I've got it in a lilac, which is T-U-U-Q-70. There you go. Only seven and a half metres this one left. It's lovely, isn't it? What's the matter, Han? Oh, she says. Oh. She's making noises. We notice when we're on holiday, because the, the, the living accommodation of Mike and Julie's house in Spain is upstairs with a big veranda all the way around the outside. So we'd get back from the beach and we'd walk up to go, oof, oof, oof. And then we'd sit down and I'd go, ooh. 7.99. Then the next one in the bleu, le bleu. The number is, have you got it? Oh, you're right. Uh, DFUQ 64. Okay, so this, little, this quilt here that we're doing next with Stuart, if, you, if you've got that in your basket, you need to check out. It's really selling quickly, just so you know. Beautiful, that is. It's very moody, that one, isn't it? Moody, la. Okay, that's that one. And then I've got this beautiful, like... Um, Oh, I'm not surprised. Only three meters, this one left. 
I've got it on cream. I haven't got it in blue on blue. Yeah, I've only got it in cream. So that's the multicolored one. Remember, we can't get this in again. Oh, they've called, oh, green. Oh, yeah, okay, they've called it green. Green, they've called this one. Kaleidoscope green. It's going to sell out, sell out, sell out. And then I've got it in cream on cream. Oof. Got, are you all right with the number? Ivory, sorry, ivory, they've called this one. Ivory. Can you see that? Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? No, no, it's beautiful. You can see, see it there, can't you? That's what? <laughs> okay, I'm going to say exactly what Hannah's just said to me. Even if you don't like the rest of the collection, this one's quite nice. And then they're all beautiful. Why not? We all like different things, I know, Hannah. Just as well, isn't it, in this life? Right, where am I going to go next then? I've got dots on black, I've got dots on red, dots on ivory, and I've got leaves in three different colours. They look like tropical leaves, these. So, I've got them in three different colours. These are the only ones with leaves on that I've got. So let's do BZUQ89 first. Oh, that's nice. Wildflowers on purple. That one's called. I like this splash of yellow in the middle of it there. Just a tiny, tiny splodge of it. Gorgeous. I've also got it in blue, which is VXUQ87. Nice. Night time. Looks like night time, this one, doesn't it? Oh, it's very dark on my telly, that one. Can you see that one all right? Message from Penny. I love this fabric. Use the borders for the trio of storage boxes. Made the Lillingworth bag with the borders, the flap, and the old cloth tent. Penny, you've been busy. Very nice. Beautiful. And then I've also got it in red. I'm sure you went to called it red. Uh, oh, hang on, I've got the number. Yeah, ZBUQ17. What colour? Oh, cranberry. Oh, I could go a glass of cranberry juice right now. I haven't had that for ages. When I used to work on the Bond films, um, the accounts always had cranberry juice in their fridge. So I'd go up with me to make some excuse why I had to be in the council spot and go, oh yeah, I just have some cranberry juice while I'm here. And we were miles away from a shop. I didn't want to buy a whole carton. I just wanted to... No, we went in the glacier. We're in Leaveston Studios is where I'm thinking. Where the Harry Potter uh, Museum is now or exhibition is now. Anyway, that's that. And then I've got three more. I've got white on white and black on black leaves. We can do black on black first, ZXUQ03. Now, I don't know how you, if you're going to be able to see this one. Oh, you might be able to because the background's splodgy. Oh, yes, lovely. Derek, good morning, Hannah, Bruce. Uh, it's not Becky today, it's Kat today, Derek. Good to see you back from your holiday, John. Just tuned on and see some lovely purple fabric. Oh, yes, Derek. You have to be careful with that though, Derek, because um, we're not, Derek wears purple when he's out on the pool, but they're very limited, the purples. I think lots of people are, cream on cream. Well, that's, is it called cream? Ivory, yeah. This would go lovely with, remember the one that Hannah said, if you don't like any others, you'll love this one. Look, that'd go beautifully with that look. Gorgeous. 7.99 for half me, 100% cotton, 44 inch wide, machine washable, quilting weight. Now, last fabric is this one. 
A EVUQ35. <sighs> yep. Dots in cranberry, that one. Now, you see, if my cranberry juice was that colour in the fridge, I don't think I'd drink it. Beautiful. Now, I just need to, just before we go, remind you about the book because it's about to sell out. Oh, hang on, let's wait for the graphics to go. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, cough. There we go. Halcyon quilt book, 17.99. Look at the beautiful patterns in there. Just stunning, aren't they? Oh, good morning, Mr. Tan says hello. Carol says good morning, glad to see you back. Thank you very much indeed. Don't feel like I've been away, of course. That's normal, isn't it? Beautiful book. Stunning, stunning, stunning book. With all the templates that you need in the middle there as well. Look at those patterns. And where's the one Hannah light? Let me show you the one Hannah light. Lovely, isn't it? Beautiful. Rose Kingdom, that's nice. Be careful though if you've got that in your basket. Loads of you want that book. $17.99. Right, after break, Stuart's going to be here. He's going to be making this quilt. Uh, we've got it in a green version and a lemon version. Uh, I've got the fabrics by the half meter and I've got the panel, so if you want to buy any of them individually, you can do and the instructions on their own. Now, now I need to tell you, right, the instructions on their own are written because these come from a panel, right? But don't be thinking, oh, well, it's, the instructions are useless after it, once I've made it once using the panel. Stuart has included a technique that you could, don't need to panel for that bit there and for the sentiments there. He's going to show you all of that straight after this break. <laughs> Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Have you heard about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street? You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app, onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street fans and Yarn Lane TV fans on Facebook and click join group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day.
If you're a sewing street or yarn lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos, and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Miss the live show? Don't. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. You know we all have our, our funny little foibles, right? So if ever I'm going on telly, even if I've cleaned my teeth in the morning, I always clean my teeth before I come on air, even if I've got a guest or anything like that, right? We're in the dressing room earlier, put our oh, Stuart's in by the way. Say hello, Stuart. Hi. Yeah. yeah. So when the dressing room is like shh like that, it just literally it's got right. I've got my rotary cutter. Got this. Got this. Got this. And then suddenly you get out of nowhere. Shh. Look, it's like being on a first date, John. I want to impress you. First I want everything date. To be Blimey, right. we're like oh, the old codgers by now. I know, but you see, like you know, I always make that effort. You know, so this oh, always trying to say fresh. Now? I want it to always feel like the first time. When our eyes first met across an Italian table, an Italian table in an Italian restaurant. No, actually, it never truth, happened. But truth be known, <laughs> the first time our, our eyes did meet was at some. It was a so in Be so, Live. So in Be Live, right? It was. He was walking this way, I was walking that way. Yeah. We we're about to say hello. Debbie Shaw walks up to me and goes, Hello, John, come this way. I've got somebody you meet. And Stuart's just like that. She literally, there, it was like Margaret Thatcher, wasn't yeah. it? She grabbed your arm <laughs> yeah. and just <laughs> took me away like that. Poor old Stuart was like, and I was like, But, but, but. And that was it. <laughs> anyway, lovely to see you. It's lovely, lovely to smell. You. Thank you. It's very nice. I, did, I was at the thank airport you. at duty free, and I was going around them all, thinking, which one? Is, which one does Stuart? Because they're beautiful. That was that's um, Ralph Lauren Safari, and it's one I used to wear when I was like in my twenties. And I had not gone off yet. Worn it. No, it's not the original. And <laughs> I and I saw it for sale, and I thought. I wonder if I'll still like that. And honestly, John, I put a little spray on and it was like being 25 again. Oh. Who wouldn't want that? No, exactly. It's funny because I, I I used to wear Happy Rouge and Vetiver by Guerlain. Happy Rouge is that kind of blusher. Anyway, let's move on. See the quilt Stuart's made? It's gorgeous, isn't it? Not this one, that one. There you go. Uh, now, I've got to be very quick doing this because you've got lots to show you and they're selling very, very fast. So, green or yellow first? Yellow first, right, so what you get in your bundle is you get your instructions, you get these beautiful fabrics, half, are these half meters or meters, Stuart? Half meters. Half meters, Half yeah. meter, half meter, half meter. Oh, I love that one, half meter. Isn't that cute? And half meter. You also get uh, half a meter of naturally seeded cotton and you get one meter of silver mink. Yeah, silver mink, that's right. And you get the panel. Right, this is single figures on this bundle already. This is the lemon version, which is the one that's on the wall. Lemon. Have they called it lemon by any chance? No. 
Golden. Golden Woodland Wishes Quilt. No, Golden. Right, beautiful, isn't it? My two favourite naughty boys back together again, says June. <laughs> right, so that's the lemon. The lemon. We lemon. also have it in a green, which is what you're going to see demonstrated now. So, again, you get the metre of silver mink. You get half a metre of your um, naturally seeded. Then you get half a metre of all these gorgeous fabrics. Now, these fabrics are available by the half metre. If you want them wafting during this hour, we can waft them. If not, I'm doing them at the beginning of the next hour. They're on pre-order now if you want them. Oh, people have found out them already. Anyway, look, so you get the, the half metre of that one, half metre of my favourite one there. I don't know why mm, I like that little gorgeous. fold there. Anyway, then you get the uh, fawn. It is not a fold, John. Uh, then you get your fabric there, half metre, leaves, and you are loved. You are cherished. Yes, Hannah, we wrote that especially for you. Plus the green panel with the sentiments on it. Uh, now you've got, got a few more of these than the lemon one but not that many more right so that goes there that goes there uh, and you get the instructions well where have I put the instructions <laughs> message from Glynis good morning cheeky boys oh we are the cheeky boys looking for an entertaining and informing morning with you both right that will do our we'll, best won't we we'll do our best the instructions did you find them you found them thank oh, you oh good thank you for pointing that out <laughs> right so they're the panel they're the they're the, the kit 64.99 now instructions on their own now as i said in the introduction don't panic thinking well what could the instructions on their own because i ha won't have the panel to make the sentiments Stuart's done an explanation in here which he'll talk to you through in the show of how to make it if you haven't got the panel as well so the center bits there and the little bits there and there, he's going to tell you in the instructions, he's going to talk through that. How, so you don't worry if you have, if you bought the, the kit, the bundle, and you want to make another one and you can't get hold of the panel, then he's shown you how to make it without it. Mm. We have got the panel on its own, we're going to do that next. That's 9 99 for the instructions. Lots in there, you get, now you also get templates in here, I notice, look. Any templates in there. No skimp in there. Hang on, what's in there? <sighs> lemon! The one that's on the wall, there are only three left. Only three left of the lemon on the wall. So that's this one here. So I'll just recap that one because they're going to be sold out. You won't be seeing this one again. Right, here you go. Look, so you get the instructions. You get half a metre of naturally seeded. You get one metre of your silver mink. Then you get half a metre, half a metre of You Are Loved, half a metre of Leaves, half a metre of my absolute favourite, half a metre of the animals and the lemon panel. But uh, you, I won't be able to show you that one again because they're going to sell out. Oh, and the green one, there's only eight of the green one left already. We're going to have a sellout straight away. So I'll just remind you of the green one. So the green one here is mint, it's called, so you get the instructions. You get the panel in mint. You get a uh, half meter of you are loved and cherished, half a meter of the sprig leaves, half a meter of the little animals, half a meter of my favorite silhouette one, half a meter of the mushroom one, plus a meter of silver mink and half a meter of your um, naturally seeded. 64 99. We'll, we'll let you know how we're doing with that one. Panels on their own. Which color first? Lemon Golden. Eight ninety nine. This panel. Now, if you buy two, they don't come joined together. Remember, you are loved. Be wise. Be kind. Be clever. Be yourself. Be brave. Be curious, and you are cherished. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? What are you giggling about? Isn't over that there? beautiful? I just I love these sentiments, and I think you know if you want to give a child the most wonderful gift it's the knowledge that they can be all of those things exactly and that exactly. they and that is what you want them to be yes. all of those things and what they want to be as well yeah. you know to be brave to just be curious be brave. about the world exactly. And, exactly you know just John just before we go any further I just wanted to show yes. you very quickly I have just quickly pinned the green ring onto this quilt just so you can see now if you're going for the green kit you're still going to have the seeded natural the silver mink you're going to have these lovely flowers uh, 
I mean, it, it's just a very slightly subtle difference yes. between the two. And you don't normally do subtle, do you? No. So if the if the if the yellow, if the lemon, lemon. I'm just breezing past that, um, <laughs> it, it sells out. Don't worry, because you're still going to get a very, very similar looking oh, yes, quilt. Yes. I think the green's beautiful. It is. But the green, how many of the green one are left now, Han? Zero, once you've all checked out. Right, there are five not checked out. The lemon one, I presume, is completely gone. Yeah, lemon has gone. Green, there are five. Once you've all checked out. Uh, no, but there's more people in baskets than, than that. So please be careful, please be careful. So that's the golden panel. And the green panel is this one. It's lovely, isn't it? I'll just, oh, there you go. Mm, come on. There you go. Same sentiment, same drawings, just with a slightly... When, uh, when I was little, they sold paints that were called Hint of Apple and Hint of Barley. This is sort of Hint of Mint. Remember, if you, if you don't get the panel, you can make get buy some of the other fabrics and make it without the sentiments because Stuart's done a design that is uh, adaptable to with or without the panel. Obviously, while well, we've got the panel, get it, but you know what I mean. But John, you could make this quilt with Jason Yenta fabrics. You could make it with Anna Maria Horner. You could make it with Tilda. Oh, Tilda, lovely. Mm -hmm. You could make this with Kaif. So it's a very adaptable pattern. It just happens to be in this fabric exactly. range. Exactly. Here's the pattern on its own, 9.99. Yeah, we're gonna keep that as your main graphic. Now, first, before we start, I moved your standing mat. Would you like your standing mat back? Oh, you did, didn't you? Yeah, I will sorry. do. Otherwise, I'm going to end up with foot ache. Like me. <laughs> right. Aww. Right. I'm not going to show you anything else. We're going to get on with the demo. But as Stuart uses things, I'll interrupt and go, oh, here it is, here it is, here it is, as his glamorous assistant, like that. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. Yeah. Never had one of those before. <laughs> Have you not? <clears throat> I haven't, John. I haven't. Right. Go on then, off you go. All right, okay. Wind me up and off I go. Okay, well, the first thing, <laughs> morning everybody. The first thing that you're going to make is the sort of sunflower uh, part of the block. All right, so what you're going to do is we're going to make this bit first of all. All right, so this is the one that I've made using the green fabrics. And um, it's 20 bladed Dresden block okay right. um, super simple to make easy enough for a beginner please don't be put off by the fact you've got these little pointy edges or it's a circle or anything like that it's very very easy to piece let me show you how now you might have noticed I've just used two fabrics from the coordinate right you can mix and match your fabrics differently if you like have you so you got enough to kind of do slightly different things yeah, absolutely yeah. absolutely you've got plenty of fabric um, but you but the thing is you see we're going to use four of the circles from the panel you oh, get of six course. Yes. so I'm thinking make a couple of matching cushions to go in the room mm. uh, and you'll have enough to do that you might need to add your own backing and a little bit of extra seeded natural perhaps but um, the main fabrics you'll have plenty of okay so the first thing that you're going to do is cut a strip of fabric Using um, your rotating cutting mat, sixteen yeah, ninety nine. Yeah, it's really useful. Really useful for something like this. And um, I've got a strip of each fabric, and I've laid them together. Now it doesn't matter whether you've got right sides up, wrong sides up, because this is a symmetrical yeah. pattern. Now you don't have to buy a template or a special ruler for this. I've provided you with a template. You can cut this out of cardboard, you can cut this out of um, plastic template uh, material, or I like to use freezer paper. For me, freezer paper is the easiest thing to use. Freezer paper, 6.49. Now, I was in a very well-known uh, shop yesterday that sell things for hobbies, and this was an awful lot more expensive than this. Exactly the same, exactly the same box. Yeah lot more than this it's good to know isn't it we're really great on price yeah we are definitely. really great on price definitely. especially for these essentials that we're going to use lots of okay. now then what I've done is I've cut my template out of um, 
freezer paper and you don't have to start adding seam allowances they're all added into the template already um, and what I did was just laid this on my pressing mat and I've just ironed that into place you don't necessarily have to iron it in place but I just think it makes it more secure well it won't move if you, it's not going to move we're going to get a perfect cut now you've ironed it onto the, the right side of the fabric is it going to damage my fabric no no it's got like a little waxy finish on it and um, it doesn't leave any residue at all brilliant now if you've got an 18 degree Dresden ruler so for example this one right here <laughs> I glamour the glamorous assistant you can't really see because of my shirt awesome you'll use you can use that instead and then you can rotary cut using your yes, your ruler yeah. but just be aware we are not using it from the bottom or the top it's a middle, middle chunk section. of it i explain in the pattern uh -huh. all right so you're going to cut uh, a, a whole load of these and then you'll see at the end when i when i remove this freezer paper it just comes off really easily there's no residue whatsoever on the fabric and then i can reuse that probably six to eight times perfect so make a couple of those and you'll have the whole quilt cut out in no time and it'll be super accurate okay so the next thing that you're going to do is with right sides of your fabric facing up and the wide end at the right you're going to fold the two edges together match everything up don't just focus on matching this up make sure that the side is matched up too and give that a little press and you want to press about halfway down the tumbler shape the petal shape right and then you can work through a whole bunch of these maybe make one or two blades first of all if you've never done this before just to make sure that you're happy with the technique I am 26.99 today we'll go back up to 28.99 at midnight early bird now you might have noticed on one of the fabrics and I'll just grab it here this fabric there are lots of really lovely motifs and they are very much directional motifs right so when I came to cut this fabric out what I did was I stacked my fabric rather than um, well you can fan fold it, it doesn't matter but I stacked my fabric and I put my templates on and I cut this way but the ones that would go this way I actually I trimmed an edge off and then I put this back on the right way so that I hadn't got upside down right yeah. however of course it's a be circle down. so I mean they are upside down in places yeah. so I probably could have saved myself the bother John more than likely <laughs> Why do these things only come to me when I'm on air? Because <laughs> you've spent all that time at home going, I fancy cut it the right way up. Do you know, right I'm going to make this right, I'm going to make this yeah. right, I'm going to turn the template. But, <laughs> but anyway, if you want to do that, you have got enough fabric. Brilliant. What sewing so, machine are you using there? I am using the Brother FS250. I've set it to stitch number 46, which is my quarter of an inch seam allowance. Yeah. And then what I'm going to do is feeding the folded edge into my machine first. I'm sewing a quarter of an inch across the top edge, just that, that wider end. Uh -huh. Okay. So once you've done a few of these, you can just sew a whole bunch. And on my quilt, oh, there we go, found my, found my stride. <laughs> You'll notice on my quilt, there are four blocks and I've done sort of two lots of two. Right. Um, and so I used two of my fabrics for two of the Dresdens, two different fabrics for the two others, and then I kept back the fifth fabric and I've used that for some of the leaf blocks around the outside edge, some of the border blocks. Right, yeah. But, you know, I also had plenty of this one with the words on right here that I also used in my leaf block. So like I say, you can mix and match to your heart's uh -huh. content, really. Okay, now once you've sewn through the uh, top of each of your blades, cut them apart and then go back to that folded edge. Okay, so this is my centre fold and you're going to just trim down towards that. You're cutting, you want the tip of that to be about an eighth of an inch. Right, yeah. So just go through all of your blades trim that corner down make sure you're getting in towards the fold every time everything of course I've included in your instructions all these tips and then what you're going to do is turn that point through and then just use a little pokey tool or something like that just to push out 
the, the, the point. The point, yeah. All right. That is the point. It always amazes me because you've only sewn a straight line and yet you've got a pointy, a pointy no, blade. it's a really cool design, isn't yeah. it? It's, it's clever. Not my idea, of course. No. Right. <laughs> no, of course not. Now, you'll see, if you, can, if, you, if you look closely, you can see part of that crease. I mentioned about creasing it halfway yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. We need that crease still, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold the seam allowance one way, and it doesn't matter which. Uh -huh. It's gone to the left there. I've lined up my seam with that fold. And then I'm just going to push that down with my fingernail and then press. Now make sure you do just press, otherwise you'll sort of damage the point. If it does get a little bit sort of bluntened by the iron, bluntened, you can always push it back out again. Is that a word again. you've just uh, invented? I think it probably is. Bluntened. And you'll go through all of your blades doing exactly the same thing, just centering the seam and pressing. And not bluntering. And not bluntening. <laughs> okay so work through all of those and then once you've got those done in fact I'll just do quickly one more yeah the next thing is to arrange all of your blades into a circle right now uh, this is my tip here you don't have to do that but I think it really is a good idea to lay them all out because then as you're picking them up you know you're getting them in the right order and everything's going to match up as it should uh -huh. okay so I will lay mine out into a full circle and then back to your sewing machine and I'm going to flip always from right to left right to left right to left so you and do it into pairs do, do them into pairs right and I'm going to sew and matching up my edges I'm going to sew from this edge here all the way down to the raw edge so from a folded edge of the point down to the raw edge quarter okay. of an inch seam now I'm using a seam uh, a stitch length rather of 1.8 right so you want it quite short quite tight and there's no real need to back stitch at the start or the finish. Right. I'm just going to sew straight across. But make sure you sew a nice uh, even quarter of an inch. Okay, so you'll work through all of those, snip them apart, and then I like to lay them back down in their correct positions, and then you can sew the pairs together. Right. Now you'll sew five lots of four okay right. and that will make your full 20 and then once you've done that you can sew all of those lots of four together and just as you go just trim all of your threads and you want to make sure that these threads right at the uh, top at the points are just trimmed nice and short but as I say there's no real need to backstitch there okay so we've got the first fifth of the circle uh -huh. all done um, not a bad idea to press as you go. I mean, I want to do a bit of chain piecing, so, you know, I'm not going to press at every turn, but perhaps when you've got your five lots of four, not a bad idea to give all your seams a little set, and then you want to open them out. So go in there first of all with your fingernails and open those seam allowances up. So from the centre out and from the centre out, uh -huh. just to make sure that everything's nice and flat. And then you can go in with your iron. Yes, you can use a steam iron. Yes, you can give it a bit of a blast, but press. Yep. Don't rub back and forth. That's yep. when you start getting distortion with steam. Okay. So once we've given all those a press, that's now going to lie beautifully flat and create our outer flower, our uh -huh. sunflower. Lovely. So that's step one. Perfect. Do you want me to keep going? Yes, please. Okay, then. <laughs> All right. Right, so we've finished or something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now I've got my circle all prepared all right. right there's my full 20 blades all together Gorgeous. everything's nice and flat and and that is absolutely flat as a pancake okay and trust me i didn't labor over sewing these together okay as long as you're using an accurate quarter of an inch seam allowance uh -huh. it will be fine trust the process right 
So that's all done, pop that to one side. Now our next job is to create the circle for the centre. Right. And I'm going to show you two different ways that you can do that. The first one is, if you like, a whole cloth approach, so a whole piece of fabric. In the context of this quill, I'm using a panel. And this is my whole piece of fabric. This is my whole cloth. Which one are you going to use? I'm going to use Be Curious. Oh, are you? Because I think it's super cute. Yeah. Really cute. Right, the only stock we've got, all the bundles are sold out. The, the lemon panel has sold out. We've only got the mint panel left now. Fab. Okay, right. and what I'm going to do is go in there and I'm just going to cut this out, okay, just with a bit of extra fabric all the way around, right? Yeah. Now don't be alarmed, as long as you're about half an inch away all around, you'll be absolutely fine. You don't good. have to worry about how close are you going. Right. It's quite a good panel actually, it's printed really, really straight and square and you know sometimes panels can be a little oh, bit tricksy yes. yeah. and something that should be a straight line isn't, but no issues okay. at all. So I've cut that out, there he is. Um, they're normally curious about rubbish bins, aren't they? <laughs> Are they? <laughs> Tipping them over in the middle of the night. I think so. So what you're going to do then, I've used some lightweight fusible interfacing. Okay. Okay. Something We've like got that here, but Hannah Bed put that through for you. Yeah. Okay. And what I've done then, I've used my template, which is included in the pattern, to draw a circle. Right. If you have a T plate of a similar size, you can do that. And what you're going to do, so that's drawn on the um, non-fusible side. This is the right side of my fabric facing up. This is the gluey side. And I'm going to put, hold your breath, the gluey side onto the right side of the fabric. Yeah, keep your iron okay. miles away from this bit. Yeah, don't go anywhere near it with an iron, please. And what I'm looking to check is that all of the right stuff is inside that circle. Now, there's the teeniest little bit that's oh. popping out there. But I mean, in the great scheme of things, everything is beautifully centered. Right. So I'm happy. Then what you need to do is go around and pin inside the circle. Make sure you're keeping everything nice and flat. Little tip, I'm not doing it now myself, but at home I pin these on a rotary cutting board. Right. And that does help because then you can just kind of slide your pins in and you don't have to keep lifting the fabric up. But right. it'll be absolutely fine. So you want to do make sure you're keeping everything nice and flat. And don't skimp here. You want to put plenty of pins in right. and keep everything flat and true. That's the interfacing shirt shoes there, two ninety nine. Iron on super light white interfacing. Perfect. Right. Really good stuff. Right then. So now I'm going to change my sewing uh, my stitch. I want a centre needle position, <clears throat> which is stitch number two. Yeah. But I'm going to reduce my stitch length. The default right. is 2.5, and I'm going to take it down again to 1.8. Okay. Because I want a short stitch length, but not so short that it's going to sort of perforate everything, but um, short. And then what I'm going to do is sew all the way around the outside. All the way around. On the line, all the way around. Right. Don't leave a gap. Okay. Okay. Now, please promise me at home you'll do your best work when you're sewing around this circle. Stay on the line. Take it steady, no need to rush. You're not on live television with John Scott leaning on the desk watching you. Not just me, there's millions of people it's just, watching. I know that's true, but you're here. You're here. <laughs> All right. Oh, Any really tips of going round in a circle? Take your time. That's it. Go slowly, yeah. use a shorter stitch length than normal. Even if you're sewing curved piecing, do the same. Right. And the reason for that is you're going round a curved edge. There's no such thing as a curved stitch on a sewing machine. No. All your stitches are straight. So if you're going to get a really smooth curve, you need lots of little tiny straight stitches. Yeah. It'll give the illusion and it'll be much, much easier. And also as well, I don't stop and pivot. You'll notice, I do stop sometimes for a little breather, yeah. you know, but basically I keep my hand in the centre of the circle and I use that as my pivot point so that while I'm sewing, I am pivoting my fabric around 
Once you get back to the start, you can just go slightly over the stitches and then trim them away. Right. All right. Pins out. Pins out, back in the box. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Now what you're going to do is go around the outside edge with your scissors. And again, I want you to take a deep breath because I'm asking you to cut this seam allowance back now to an eighth of an inch, which is a scary seam allowance. Uh -huh. Now this is another reason why we've used a 1.8 stitch length, a short stitch length, because I want that seam allowance, I want that seam to be really secure because there's not lots and lots of fabric there to uh -huh. sort of take the strain. But it doesn't need, it won't take any strain once you've got it appliqued down. So this is all fine. I remember somebody once when I was on the sewing bee um, who had put a comment and said that watching me cut out dressmaking fabric was painful to watch. Why? Well, because, see, I'm so used to rotary cutting and I was so, I was cutting oh. like this and like, it was so awkward. It was so out of my comfort zone, John. Oh. Um, and of course, there's quite a sort of particular way of holding fabric while you're cutting out dressmaking, yeah. isn't there? Which, of course, I didn't know. So once you get back round to the start, there we go. All okay. right. What you're going to do now is we basically made a whoopee cushion. Yeah. <laughs> do you remember those? Do you remember them? Still have them? Pop that on a chair. Yep. That was the trampoline. Sometimes I don't need the whoopee cushion to do that at my age. <laughs> okay, pull the interfacing away, okay? Yeah. And then snip into it. This is why you didn't have to leave a gap. Yeah. You're going to snip in and then very much, very carefully cut yourself across. Mm -hmm. About, I don't know, two and a half inches each way. Don't go mad, but you know, just like that. All right? and then turn everything through to the right side. Now again, please, please, please don't go anywhere near an ironing board at this stage. <laughs> Otherwise you'll end up decorating your ironing board with woodland creatures, which isn't the plan. No. But of course, once you know this method, there's so many ways you can use it. And suddenly, appliqueing circles becomes fun, quick, easy, all right? And so you're just turning that through, okay? Yeah. So now perhaps you understand why the glue side was against the right side of the fabric, because now that I've turned it through, right side, right side, my glue is on the back. So that when I actually put this onto my block, um, I haven't got to pin it. No. It's going to lie completely flat while I applique it, and um, no bonder web. You all no, right? Exactly. No bond to it. Now go around the outside of your circle and really carefully roll and press with your fingers only to create a smooth, flat edge. Okay? So just spend a few minutes massaging the fabric. It's time well spent. Absolutely. And then once you get back around to the start, there we go. So we've got a perfectly turned circle. This is How all in the instructions. instructions. All in the instructions. All in the instructions. Okay, be curious. Now then, I'm going to put that to one side because I need to prepare my background block. Okay. And John, I wonder, could you pass me the metre of... Um, uh, do you want the natural mink. seeded or do you want mink. the mink? I want the mink. Right, I've only got half a metre here. You'll That's get right, a metre in yours at home. Yeah, because um, you're going to use the silver mink for... Two of the blocks, and you're also going to use it for some of the piecing around the outside, and you're going to use it for the binding. Okay. Okay. So what I need to do now is cut out my background uh, square, my block background, and I'm just going to show you how I do it when I haven't got a large square ruler. Oh. Because you might just have a small ruler. Yeah. Okay. So I'm start by giving it a little press. And then I'm going to fold my fabric and give that a little press. Just to kind of match up your salve edges as best you can. Give that a press. Yeah. Okay, you want quite a firm crease. And then fold it again. Now, what we're aiming for here 
is about eight inches okay make sure that your edges are lined up beautifully your, your creased edge along yeah, yeah. here make sure that's lined up and then same again here as well okay so we've got now quarter marks quarter folds mm -hmm. and then we've got this area here to cut okay so I'll grab my rotating cutting mat back Actually, just to make my life easier for demoing on telly, I'm going to snip that off. Right. You wouldn't need to do that at home because you've probably have got a bigger table to work on. I mean, I've got a massive counter to work on, but it's simply not big enough. <laughs> All right. And then what I'm going to do is measure out from the crease. Right. Okay. Now, I want a 14 and a half inch square, and I'm doing this half, so that's seven and a quarter. Right. Okay. So I'm going to put my seven and a quarter inch mark on the fold and I'm going to cut upwards. Okay. Keep everything nicely lined up. Okay. And then I'm going to turn my mat and then I'm going to do the same from the other edge right. and make sure that you're cutting towards that fold. If I end up with four little squares after I've done this, John, I'm just going to run off. You won't. I'll be in my dressing room. At uh, your dressing room? Well, officially, John, yes. I don't know if you've had the memo. Well, I, I noticed there's a new sign on the door There is, now. isn't there? <laughs> which is quite, <laughs> you know. It's every, ev every presenter in the building, right? Whether you work <laughs> at Sewing Street, Hobby Maker, <laughs> Lifestyle, Gems, Jewelry Maker, gem collector we're all in the same lovely dressing room there's only two chairs yes and, it, and we came in this morning and Vix had been in early because she did the early shift on hobby maker spread out the whole, yes. the whole desk shoes makeup breakfast there's a bowl in there <laughs> with half-eaten Weetabixes at oh, the end that's gonna have been there for weeks it's been that's Vix yeah, yeah that's definitely Vix See, I'm like, I'm hardly here, I'm hardly here. I'll just move this over here. I'm gone now, yeah. you know. Oh, I pack as I go. I just kind of pack my, I've got lots of space with bags at the end, but I don't spread out all over the desk. Oh, half your wardrobe's in there, John. It's true, it is. Now, the benefit of cutting your square like that is that you've got your perfect square, but you've also now got four creases. Yes. Okay, which is gonna help enormously with placement. Good. So, next job, grab your... Dresden and sometimes Dresden's are lined up like this so the point is uh -huh. lined up with the crease but not this time oh okay you want it that um, seam cleft. the cleft I like it I like it so you want to make sure that all four of your creases line up with seams right if you do that and they're all perfectly lined up, you are dead centre. You cannot be anywhere else. Right. Okay. If one of them is out, then you're not quite centred. And so perhaps you need to have another go. I was just going to lock that in place because then I'm going to slide this mat. So again, I've done it again. I really should have done that on a cutting mat because it's much easier then to pin. So I'll just slide that under okay and then your next job is to pin your Dresden in place now again don't skimp on the pinning right. you want to make sure that you pin every blade mm -hmm. to make sure that the whole thing is secure if you wanted to speed this process up and you've got a glue stick then you could definitely run a glue stick around the outside pointy edge all the way around your Dresden that would make it a little quicker uh-huh but um, I don't mind. I don't no. mind. A little bit of pinning. There's nothing wrong with that. Pins have been around for a very long time. Longer than glue pens. They? they really have. They really have. I heard that actually when um, Esme uh, joined as a judge on Sewing Bee. I remember that was one of the things she said to all of the contestants because she saw a lot of them using 
clips, yeah. which I know have become very, very popular for dressmaking. But and they are really good mm. for like heavier fabrics, thick layers. But she was going around. She was seeing people using them on, you know, like gauzy fabrics. And of course, they just pull everything. It's like hanging weights around. Well, exactly. And also, when you go to the sewing machine, it pulls all over the place. It do does. That. And so, and she said to one of the contestants, "You know what? Pins have been around for a very long time in this game <laughs> for a reason." <laughs> So I'll just quickly pin, I've only got a couple more to do, and then we're going to applique the Dresden to the background block. Okay. We don't need to put any fabric, anything like stabiliser on the back of the fabric, it's just as is. Yeah, just as is. You might find it easier to do this with a walking foot, right. but it's not essential by any means. Now I'm going to stay at a centre needle position. I'm going to increase my stitch length to three, because oh, okay. effectively this is top stitching. Uh -huh. And then I'm going to start sewing this. Now there's all sorts of options, and of course it is an option, if you want to, to hand sew this in place. Of course, yeah. Um, but what you do need to do is take your time. I'm using a straight stitch and I'm sewing close to the edge all the way around. Okay. Um, like I say, you do need to take your time. There are lots of turns in the road, mm -hmm. so don't rush it. You could use a zigzag, you could use a blanket stitch. You could hand stitch it, of course. But, I just think because um, you've got your finished edge, it's quite nice to a straight stitch on it, oh, isn't it? Oh, yeah. it really is. But you do want to be very, very close to the edge yeah. because otherwise you end up with this little sort of flap all the way around the outside. Oh, fluff that a bit. Never mind. We oh, yeah, have a little bit of a zigzag there. Never mind. I've used a dark thread so you can see all of my mistakes. Good. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> but like I say, you could use this same pattern for so many different fabrics. Yeah. So imagine this done in your Tilda yeah. scraps or your latest collection. You could do this in Christmas fabrics, would be glorious. Oh, gorgeous. Okay, I'm not gonna go all the way around the outside because no. that'll just get boring. Okay. But let me just show you where we're at. So you can see there, I've started stitching around the outside edge. Uh -huh. And that's just going to hold everything in place, just nice and close to the edge. Now, a little tip, and I certainly have included this in the pattern, is that once you've done all of that, I actually ran a line of stitching very, very close to this raw edge all the way around the outside. And that was just to control that edge and keep it yeah. in place, keep it playing nicely. Okay. Once you've got your Dresden all stitched into place, the next thing to do is to add the circular center. What you're going to do here is lay this over and you can do your creases again if you want to, but the most important thing is that your design is the right way up. Yeah, yeah. And if you just fold this in half and find creases, you could end up with it being slightly skew with because that's how you folded it. Yeah, of course. So rather than trying to do two jobs in one, I think it's much easier. It should only cover the edges by about three eighths to half an inch. I think it's easier to do it by eye. Yeah. Get everything lined up in place like that. And when you're absolutely happy that that's in place, then you're gonna go in with your iron. Now remember, this is interfacing, not bondweb. So it will take 10 or 11 seconds to fuse. Make sure you're not fusing an iron, uh, a pin down. Mm -hmm. But what this is going to do is this is going to fuse the circle in place. So you won't need to pin it. Yeah. Making sure I'm getting those pins. Up. You won't have pins on yours, of course. No, because they'll be stitched. You'll have finished a job. Yeah. Instead of only doing half a job. Half. No, what's your middle name, isn't it? <laughs> half a job, Harry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but also, then you see, you'll you'll be glad that you spent time creasing the edge with your fingers and making sure everything oh, yeah. is smooth. Because then, and can you see now? This is bonded, and this is stuck down. And you've now got 
that perfect circle. And now how adorable does that look? I know. And if I just pop this up on here, you see, this would be perhaps this one here, just looks gorgeous. If you wanted to go for both, and you could actually do nine would be beautiful. Oh yeah, definitely. Nine would be beautiful. Now, just to talk you through the next bit of the process, and then I'm gonna show you how to do an alternative center. Um, you will add a border around your, your block, one and a half inch strips of fabric. And I cut mine from opposite fabrics. Yes. So I didn't pick a fabric that I'd used for the Dresden. I used a different one that I'd used in the opposing block and I put a border all the way around. And you do that on all four blocks so that when they come together, you've actually got sashing meeting sashing, which I really like. Yeah, lovely. And it also has the benefit of bringing this all up to a lovely even size for moving on to mm -hmm. the next part. Now then, if you haven't got the panel or you want to make this with a different fabric panels what can you do anyway what can you do structures on their own though 9.99 so you can still make it out of any fabric that you want really i've got these fabrics coming up in the next hour but also like you're saying tilda or ha uh, hannah keeps talking about the new um Tula range would look amazing. Really good. With the squirrel yeah. in the middle. Well, you've got all those opportunities for fussy cutting fabrics. It doesn't yes, have yeah. to be a panel. You could fussy cut other fabrics. Mm -hmm. um, and that would just be absolutely ideal. Um, so what I'm going to do as an alternative center is I've got some two and a half inch strips of fabric. Go back to your quarter inch seam allowance. And I'm going to sew these together. And I'm going to strip piece a little unit. Right. I'm hoping this will be enough. So this brings up a whole load of opportunities now for other ways we might do it. Essentially what we're going to make, John, is a 16 patch, which we're going to then cut the circle out of, or we'll oh, make wow. the circle out of, yeah. which is going to look gorgeous. But it also then set my mind to thinking, well, if I can do this with squares, what about if I did rail fence units? What oh, about if I nice, did half square yeah. triangles and then created my circle out of those? So, you know, it's the kind of thing that could run and run. So I'm gonna fold that in half and cut. I don't think I'll have enough of this actually, but you'll get the idea. Going to sew these together now. Nice message. This is a masterclass in Dresden's. No more wonky Dresden's and cookie circles for me. Thank you, thank you, thank you from Beth. Ah, oh, you're welcome. Well, lots of different ways that you can use one block. And, um, oh, I love Dresden blocks. I think they're absolutely gorgeous and they're so versatile and they're mm. fun. Uh, and they just add a different dimension. If you've you know, had enough of piecing for a while and you've made the last half square triangle you ever want to make yeah. for now, then do something a little bit different. And this is still pieced, but it has the look of, well, you'd still do still applique it, so it's got a different look and a different feel to it. So what I'm gonna do now is line my ruler up. Like I say, I'm gonna be just shy of what I need, typically. Never mind, I might have time to quickly run a bit more up. So I'm going to cut two and a half inch segments. Uh huh. Yeah, look, I'm, I'm one segment short. But it doesn't matter. No. Okay, so I've got those, and then I'm just going to flip one of these around. And you'd flip the last one around as well. Uh -huh. And I'll sew these back together again now. Now, because I pressed all of my seams towards the same fabric, when I flip everything around, everything's now nested. So I shouldn't need pins. Brilliant. Francis says, will we be able to get any more of the kits? Uh, Francis, I don't, I, 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 no, Francis, I'm afraid we won't be able to. I've got the fabrics by the half meter available in the next hour, but not the panels. Panels have all sold out, I'm afraid. But the, you know, the, the, the panel is delightful, but it's not, it's not essential. You could still make a really beautiful quilt. Oh yeah. Um, now again, you could mix in, you could make the center out of solids. You could use, 
perhaps a third and a fourth solid to create these centers. Uh -huh. This would make a lovely center for a sunflower. You could do black and white or brown and cream checkerboard and then have like golden yellow uh, batiks, Ooh, something lovely. like that. I've got batiks coming up in the last hour. Mm, oranges and golds and all that kind of thing. <clears throat> okay. So, you'll make your checkerboard. Yours will be one strip bigger. One strip bigger, that's right. Okay, give it a good press. Yeah. And then, grab your piece of interfacing with your circle. You're then going to lay this gluey side against the right side of that. Yeah. Now, this will have a quarter of an inch extra fabric all the way around it because you've made an eight and a half inch square right. and you're about to do an eight inch circle. Right. So you've got perfect seam allowance for sewing around. So I'm just gonna pin and then I'll do exactly the same and sew this and it'll be a partial circle, but you'll still get the right idea. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. So again, uh, back to a straight stitch center needle position, shorter stitch than normal and I'll just quickly whiz around this. Perfect. I would normally at this point do a roundup, but I haven't got anything to round up. It's also, I've got a lovely complimentary bundle. Oh, actually Stuart just said, if you, if you want to use different colors for your central, maybe get something like this. Lovely complimentary bundle to go with the fabrics. Are you getting half a piece for free? Oh, that's amazing, 15 pounds and 16 pounds. We don't, don't normally half meter when, with a smaller bundle like that, do you? Good, isn't it? Beautiful. Okay, so you've stitched around your partial circle, but yeah. yours will be a full circle. Yours will be a full. <laughs> yours will be a full circle at home, and then you're still going to trim it back to an eighth of an inch. Teresa says, "Good morning, you gorgeous pair. Hoping to finish my strippy doo dar bag today, Stuart hey. Hillard." Hey. And now it. that's Hannah set Hannah off singing strippity doo da. No. Put your clothes to, back on, Hannah. I used to sing that as a child. Did you? <laughs> you know, family parties, that kind of thing. Oh, come on, Stuart, do do zippity doo da. It was either that or Rhinestone Cowboy. They were my party pieces. And did you have the outfits to go with? More or less. <laughs> they used to stand me on a table. I've been walking these streets so, how so often long. Did you, how often did you get invited to parties? Singing the same old song. <laughs> oh, it's lovely. That was a whole routine. Yeah. Charlie makes me do it for him now. That's nice. It is nice. In it's the fields. Different. Yeah. Um, and then just do exactly the same again. Just go around it. And then if I just grab this, and you can see that is a gorgeous centre for your flower. And if I just bring this in and show you, I mean, obviously I've used exactly the same fabric, so it rather blends in, okay? But if I take this over to my quilt on the wall, are these see, Are these the, the things you just told us they in here? Yes, they are, yes they are. But look, that would look absolutely smashing. Really lovely. Lovely. Okay. Oh yeah, gorgeous. Yeah. Beautiful, just a lovely idea. Now, <clears throat> just to talk you through where you're gonna go next, okay, because it's super easy. Yeah. So your blocks around the outside are stitch and flip. Okay, right. again, it's all in the pattern, easy peasy. You've got two different versions, but you're stitching and flipping the same sides, you know? You do one fabric with cream, one fabric with silver mink, and then you alternate them all the way around. Brilliant. If you're not using the panel, you will make extras. I tell you how many in the pattern, you'll make extras and you'll run those all the way around the outside edge. Brilliant. If you're using the panel, you're gonna make some little checkerboards, actually up here, some little checkerboards. Right. They just finish oh. off. Hang on. There we go. There they are. You make some little checkerboards. Yeah. Now, it's a bit crafty here. The seeded natural and the background of the panel are not the same. Right. So what I did was I actually used a little off cut from oh. the panel with some of the main fabric yeah. to create those checkerboards. 
You sew those either end of the... You only need to do those if you've got the panel. If you're using the panel. Because if you're making your own squares, the, the amount you've made match up completely. Exactly right. These will match up exactly. Yeah, perfect. These are little spacer blocks just to create the right length for it to fit. But if you're just making these blocks, you just make those and put them all the way around. Um, if you're using the panel, you'll make those little checkerboards. Uh, sew them onto either end of the you are loved you are cherished and then you'll create your border like that now I just wanted to show you one last thing of course, which yeah. was with the panel I was ever so impressed with how straight and even and well really how the manufacturer how the designer had thought about the end user really because the design you are loved and you are cherished is exactly four inches wide okay so when we come to cut this out and you obviously you, you're gonna sort of fussy cut this uh -huh. what you want to do is line your ruler up so that you've got a quarter of an inch of space running along the top and a quarter of an inch of space running below and the way to do that is to sort of line up the quarter inch mark against a few of the motifs right as you go along to keep it won't line up with all of them they don't all finish at four inches no. some are lower but the the highest ones line them up and then you'll get that perfect four and a half inch strip over your words uh -huh. but it's ever so easy to do um, and a really fun project with your remaining two circles I think these would be gorgeous. Use the same technique as I did with the circle. You could do that. You could applique that onto a little backpack mm -hmm. or a little school bag or something yeah. like that. You know, be wise for your reading book. Yeah. If you're making this for a child, would be gorgeous. But you could also make a couple of really nice cushions using those, either just as circles or as, as full Oh, Or sunflowers. I'd make them into yeah, sunflowers for they cushions. They would. They'd look like really, that. really nice. Really, I just, it was so much fun making this project. I really enjoyed it. I also think that, you were saying earlier about Christmas fabrics, mm. that would be a gorgeous placemat. If you yeah. made Christmas placemats with, the, with, this, with your Christmas fabrics and then your checkerboard inside there, it's going to look gorgeous, isn't it? So, what I would do there is I would have the block on one side uh-huh i would have an extra strip on one side probably six inch strip then i'd put a border around the whole thing layer it quilt it and actually once you've quilted it and bound it you could then stitch a pocket over the top for cutlery and napkins oh. and then you've got plates and that could be be curious you know what am i having for dinner <laughs> yeah hi boys but lovely show fun. my suggestion for central blocks if you have the brother embroidery machine Berta. possibilities are endless from yes. Berta. yes but are they still in stock of this sold out while i've been away or oh, they're still in stock the embroidery machines because they're just a four inch you can fit it into a four inch thing and fit perfectly in the middle of that it circle, would fit really it? well or if you wanted to do something like do um, an extra block you could do um initials oh the recipient yes. and a date and you could put that in the center and then do the dressing around so use your panel for the other block yeah but then put that one perhaps in the center or you could do what you've just said but then if you want to else you've got so many decorative stitches you on have. that machine haven't you so you can embroider the middle yeah. with an initial or whatever a flower a christmas something and then get your decorative stitches beautiful. going around the outside Be well beautiful. i used a straight stitch on the outside of my dresden but a blanket stitch around the circle because i wanted to kind of draw attention to that but you could use things like the leaf stitch the feather stitch mm -hmm. any of your embroidery stitches use a special thread just have a little practice exactly first. exactly uh last message before we go hi guys only recently found you love the demos want to make a dozen plate now Stuart has shown so clearly how to do it oh, thank you sue in portsmouth Aww. very welcome sue uh instructions instructions this is all i've got to show you instructions on their own some of the fabrics have sold out as well, so I will have what's left in the beginning of the next hour. 
There you go, 9.99. But obviously that's for the panel, but you can use all of those instructions for all of your own fabrics. And you don't need to buy a template or a special ruler. Nope. You get all your templates included. I mean, I did say in the instructions, I used a tea plate from my kitchen because it was exactly the right size. Oh. And it's easier to draw around something yes. than trace. Yes, but exactly. But of course I've included the template for You've you. You've also got Stuart's email address. You've got his... Uh, Have you? I've got all sorts here. No. It's your website. Oh. What's that one there then? Stuart Hillard Makes is my Instagram. Okay, you've also got Stuart's top tips. Then you've also got a square here for your notes. I don't, what's this one here for then? More notes. Lots of notes. Yeah. Lots of notes. <laughs> yes, it is. John. Yes, it is. It's got its lovely fabric on the back as well. Anyway, uh, we're going to go. Thank you. You're back in an hour. You'll yeah. be making this oh, in an hour's the time. Tilda quilt. Isn't tilda, it beautiful? tilda, tilda. It's beautiful. Uh, I will be back in the next hour with the fabrics and this, some mugs, some organza, some. Sorry. <laughs> some Sorry. delphine things as well. I'll see you in four from now. <laughs> Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Have you heard about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street? You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app, onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP, even if you check out multiple times in one day. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. 
For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street. You can shop on our website sewingstreet.com and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping. You'll never guess what he's left behind. We can all smell like Stuart now. Living the dream. Oh, it's quite strong. <laughs> Woo! It's quite strong when you squirt it like that. Anyway, we've got so many gorgeous things. That's the next hour. The Stuart's coming back in an hour's time to do that. In the meantime, I've got all this gorgeousness on the desk. Uh, shall we start with the fabric that we, um, from the last hour? <clears throat> now they're not all available, they're not all available. So I'll start with the lemon. Hang on, all right, hang on. Yeah. Right, 24 is this one. Very limited, how much, 10 meters? 10 meters this one left. Beautiful, now you need half a meter for that quilt if you're just gonna do that quilt. Maybe get a little bit more to do the cross it, the crisscrosses in the middle. Uh, anyway, look, beautiful, isn't it? It's 44 inches wide, machine washable, quilting weight, 100% cotton. Now we've got the Bambis, uh, the folds, is that what they're called? Fawns, fawns, fox, hedgehog, owl. Now, see, they're talking about these rooting through your bin. I've never seen one of those rooting through my bins. I own America. Do we have raccoons here, apart from in the zoo? No. And these are poisonous, uh, I'd say these are poisonous toadstools, these ones. I would think so. Roger Whitaker, who sang Ry Rhinestone Cowboys, parents were my neighbours back in Kenya, says Shilla Shah. Well, I never, Shilla also messaged you in early, but John, that was a very short holiday. Uh, yeah, I didn't go to America, Sheila. I only went to the house in Spain. I didn't go to America. Uh, you're both lovely presenters. Thank you. I'll tell Stuart when he comes back. Right. So, £7.49 for half a metre. Less than 10 metres left. This is Wildlife Golden Rod. Wildlife. Gorgeous. Next one. Oh, I'm going to stay in all the lemons to start with. That's right. 
mushrooms all over. <laughs> there we go. Ending 01. Yep. Only launched when, <coughs> excuse me, when was this launched? Oh, last hour. That was brand new. Oh, only launched last hour. There's only seven meters left. Sadly. £7.49. You got eucalyptus leaves in there, mushrooms, toadstools, sprigs. What have they called it? Oh, mushrooms. More people in baskets than available. Then I've got. Oh, words, yes. Words don't come easy to me. You are cherished, you are loved. That's it. They're the words. Script, it's called. Script. How much this one have I got? Seven metres, but half the shot's gone already. Make sure you go through, that's lovely, isn't it? Could do so much with that. Fabulous, 100% cotton. You are cherished. £7.49 for half a metre. Oh, clink. Moving on. Next. I love this one. Look, aren't they cute? I just think it's so gorgeous, this fabric. 7.49 for half a metre. The owl, the rabbit, the thing with no tail, the fox. That must be the fawn then, is it? Looks like a little horse, doesn't it? <clears throat> gorgeous, I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Damask in golden rod, that one. I just love the way it's, it looks like it's, the ink's like, you imagine like in a period drama, you know what I mean, then the ink's kind of all uneven with their written, with their quill. Anyway, I'll move on. Well, I was, get, I was actually thinking about Gentleman Jack, she did a lot of writing, didn't she? Then there's this one here, which is lovely, Sprigs. Oh, hang on. Oh, you want the code? The code on this one is HWW195. Okay, the photo's not on the website. Oh, oh, it's just not on yours, right, okay. Oh, do you think? Yeah, it's love, nice, no, lovely. Uh, Hannah's thinking Christmas. You see, I was thinking spring. Oh, eucalyptus wreathy, yeah. I'm seeing it now. We've got it in green. Coming up in a minute, Bruce, if you want it in green. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it in green for Bruce next then. There's the yellow one gone. This is the green one for Bruce, who wasn't going to speak again today after giving his medical advice earlier. But DKW136. You see, yeah, everyone's agreeing now. Christmas wreath, maybe. £7.49. It's called Leaves in Mint. Well, it'll be Christmas, it'll be Christmas in July soon, won't it? Because we're in July now. I seem to, I, looking at the rotor, it looks like I, it's only me doing Christmas. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it. In July, obviously, there'll be more. £10.49. Next week after. You've got to get your birthday over first, Hannah, before you start worrying about things like that. How old will you be? <gasps> oh. God, Hannah, that means I'm twice as old as you. Anyway, what's next? Come on. Yep, green, little animals. Cute, isn't it? You are cherished, little mushrooms from Moda, Effie's Wood. Wildlife on Mint. 
Seven pound forty nine half a meter. Nurseries. I'm thinking. Now, if you're not allowed to use it for pajamas, it says so, doesn't it, on the thingy? I'd like a pair. Of, I'd like a pair of pajamas out of this. Yeah. Or loungewear. No. Say that again. Oh, I see. <laughs> I just can't see me lounging in this, that's all. But I can see me in my bed in this. <laughs> Moving on. What's next? Yeah, on green, you mean? Yeah. There we go. This is blue mushrooms, apparently, according to Hannah. On mint. It's a giveaway, isn't it, really? Yeah. I, <laughs> the eucalyptus, I'd call this, though, you see. Look, there's some eucalyptus. Gorgeous. Now I've got the writing. Now I like this because the writing's in different colour, different colours on it. Was it was it different colours on the green one? I thought it was all just one colour on the green one. But anyway, I like this. Yeah. I'm to think about it now. Seven forty nine. Words? Uh, no, not words. Script. Yeah. Yeah, I thought so. What this? You are loved, you are cherished. It's like lines at school, isn't it, Bruce? Did you never get lines at school? Don't suppose they did it in your era, did they? Or are you just a good boy? Here we go. I love this one. Brilliant. At seven pounds and forty nine pence. Beautiful. Right. Where shall we go next? Where? Delphine's now. I wasn't here for this one, for the chat group. Oh. Buddha for my birthday. We've only got Buddha in purple. Right, we'll have to show you a picture of this because Delphine's taken the quilt home. If you're watching Delphine and your ladies, no ladies, what? She shed. More than a she shed though. Her uh, workroom. Yeah, the purple colourway is the colour of the Buddha. They were all had the blue, like, they all had this blue mottled back. They all had this blue mottled back, right? Then the colour of your Buddha on this one is very spiritual purple. There you go. And then your uh, twinkle chiffon, or your organza on this one, had that purpley green sheen. That didn't go over there. Uh, yes, it did, yes, it did, yes. 18th of June, this was demoed. Was hugely popular. Sold out. We got it back in. The other colours sold out again. And I've only got a handful of this colour. I only got a handful of the purple ones. You get the instructions as well. And you get this panel, right? Now, this is for all your leaves, all your love heart leaves, this one. These are all the fabrics and the colours that Delph Delphine and I designed this one together. Yeah. Where is it? The shirt one. Oh, I, there. I think that was one. I used this shirt as one of them. But anyway, we created all of those. I didn't get paid a penny for doing it, just so you know. Lines in Bruce's era would simply be type it once, copy and paste. Not like in our day. Bruce is older than you think, Derek. His, his age starts with a four. Is that right, isn't it? Yeah. And I still have to ask, because I wasn't sure. Yeah. 
Well, as I, as I said it, I was thinking, oh, no, this isn't right. It's going to be really offended now. Anyway, panel, batik for your uh, Buddha, instructions, uh, organza, and you have two meters for your background. All of that for fifty-four ninety-nine. Single figures, single figures. I only got this one colorway. Right, instructions on their own. Right, yeah, let me move that out the way, that out the way. You can make this just the instructions because the whole of the template, right, there's, there's your layout, right? But then all of your Buddha template is all in there, including the leaves. They are heart shaped leaves, hang on. There's your Buddha, there's all your, that's your circle, that makes your circle, so you get your perfect circle. <clears throat> there's your leaves, shaped like, like lopsided hearts. Yeah, yeah, so the panel, I just explained, right, so you use, uh, there's, that's where your batik is used. This here is where your organza and your batik is used. And then all of your leaves are made out of the panel. So you can just use your stash for that. And then this has been quilted using my new Aurifil box of threads. Jason Yentas, any of the batiks I've got coming up in the last hour would look lovely in this. Jeanette. Oh, how lovely to have you back on, John. Currently viewing with the flu. So perfect answer from Janet. Oh, Janet. Flu. Oh, you be careful. Drink lots of water. That's what they say, isn't it? Uh, I've just received this a, a beautiful thank you card from the Queen. What did you make for the Queen, Kate? What did you make for the Queen? Did you make her a birthday present? Oh, no, no, it was not birthday, was it? It was 75 years on the throne, whatever, was it? It was her birthday as well, yeah. In our day, John, we would take four pencils together to do the lines. <gasps> Lisa! I have to say I never got them. I never, ever got lines. Yeah, they, they were fate worse than death for the teacher of giving Hannah lines. Right, so that's the instruction on their own. I've also got the organza on its own. I've got, oh, now I've got it in four different colours. Oh, we're nearly on three on the day. Uh, okay, I think that one. Which one have you? Which one? Have, uh, well, we'll go through which turquoise. Those the three we had on the day, weren't they? No, hang on. Oh, I can't. Pearl. So, right. Let's do turquoise first then. Yes, you can use this for so many different things. Use this on her bumblebee, and on her um, dragonfly. Got half of each, I'll show you, I'll show you, show you. If you're 139, this is what you get. What curtain? Ocean. I don't know why a school play curtain comes in. Anyway, £1.39. It, it, buy it by the half metre. So if you buy six metres, it'll come as a whole piece. Just be careful how you iron that. Just be careful how you iron it. Okay, next. Is that finished 59? Okay, so that one goes there. 59 is this one. Rainbow pearl. Look, it's got a lot of green and rainbow and you can see there. The picture on the website, the thing is, as for still, you can't really take a photo of this, can you look? Beautiful, isn't it? 139 for half a metre. Like, that's pinky. It's got a lot of pink in it, that one. Green. What other colours can you see in there? When I was in school, we got to slap across the back of the legs and the boys had the slipper across the... Those were the days from Susie. Susie? That's not our Susie. No. They think they thought that was Susie, New Susie Duncan. No, that's... Uh, she's it. We don't condone it, but yes, it, no. I tell you what, I saw, once saw Mr. Griffiths, who was one of my favorite French teachers, deputy head, and I watched him give somebody the cane and it was terrifying, absolutely terrifying. 
Okay, and then the last one. Okay, so what's the colour of the last one? Red. It's not really red. Is it? I mean, there is red in it, obviously. Look. So I'm thinking that purple Buddha must be one we didn't do on the actual day. That must have been another colourway they introduced since. One thirty nine half a metre. We had one particular teacher who would go to give us lines to com be completed after school. Imagine how I felt 30 years later when I took a job in a school and across the corridor came a very familiar voice. Oh, blimey, Teresa, must have been ancient by then. <clears throat> now, I've never seen this one. This is the chakra quilt, um, chakra quilt uh, bundle that Delphine did last week. So you get, oh, I can do it this way. You do get the instructions. Now, I need to explain something, right? What you do is you make these squares. Now, you've got a lot of fabric here. You make these checkerboard bits out of the fabric I'm going to show you. And then the chakras are actually on a panel that you applique afterwards. Right? So in the bundle, you get the instructions. So there's no template in here for the chakras. There's all there are in here is how to make the squares and how to put it together again and how to applique it. There, is, there are no templates for the chakras in there, right? The chakras all come on the panel. This all comes in, in, in the bundle. So there's your chakras. Right, they're the applique. But then look at all this fabric you get. You've got twice as much fabric in here as you actually need. So I would say you could, well, you could make two. Because if you trace those off the panel, it's what? Yeah, no, if you've got a light box though, and you draw that onto another piece of fabric, Oh, or you can buy another panel, because we've got the panels coming. No, 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 yeah, you could buy another panel, but I'm saying if the panels are sold out. Anyway, but look, see, I, I'd like this just from a stash. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, seven metres of fabric there. You, so you can actually make them out of a fat quarter of each of those, so you've got twice as much fabric there. Well, there's the picture of it, it's lovely. Why has she got a... Why, 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 why is her water bottle there? Okay. Yeah, on top of sitting on a candle. And what's in the black case then? I can't see what the black case is. Can you show on the big screen for me, Bruce, so I can just have a quick look? Oh, not me. There you go. It's a flannel! Oh, nice. She got them in the right order. Yeah, uh, she got it in the right order. I thought that blue one was the your third eye. Anyway, it's up to you which order you put them in. 69.99. So you get the instructions, the panel, and the bundle of fabric. Would you like... You do... What are you doing first? Panel on its own first. Would you like the panel on its own? Let me get the right way up there you go. You can do, use it for anything really, whatever you want. If you just want that on its own. Quicker than tracing. Thank you, Bruce. Oh, there you go. Yoga, uh, no, not yoga. Delphine suggested use it as a yoga mat. Did she indeed? She obviously doesn't do yoga. Mind you, Vix rang me yesterday. It was yesterday or the day before. And went, I said, it's very noisy where you are. She went, I'm in a spin class. We're just waiting for Delphine to arrive. She said, everybody else in the class is doing warm up. She, I, she said she had, a she had a very important call to make, business call to make before the class started. She chat to me. And all she was saying, are you coming for curry on the 11th of July or something like that? Anyway. Beautiful, very important. 
Then she messaged back going, if you don't want curry, we could go somewhere else. Anyway, 9.99. That's the panel on its own. Chakra symbols, applique pieces. Keep going through for that. What's the matter? Oh, what, what data they got in the box? 9.99. You washed them? Oh, Hannah. Yeah, well, you said it. In my, in my local garden centre, they sell strawberries that have been picked that morning locally and they're delicious. Right. Instruction on their own. Now. The instruction on their own, you can't... Um, you, there's no chakra symbols in here. So this is... The, if you're buying the instruction on their own, right, <clears throat> you're buying them to, to learn how to do the checkerboards in the background and how to do a plique, not, there's no, I just want to make it aware, there is, and I'm not being negative, I don't want you to get it home and go, because we had the issue, didn't we, with the cow one, right, there was no, the one the cow ones had, no, because it was on a panel, it wasn't in the instructions, so I'm telling you this now, there are no chakra symbols in here, so you can make, the, you can make the yoga mat for the underneath with the checkerboard and everything, but there are no chakra symbols in there. Look. I'm just making it perfectly clear. So, what you could do is buy that and that. So, that's your panel there. That's your instructions there. So, you could do that and that, and then your own fabric to do the, um, to do the squares with, if you wanted to. So, 9 99 and 9 99 20 pounds. <laughs> uh, Jenny Jackson says so she was such a good girl at school. No, I don't believe that for an instant. Dylan is now at the same school and his head of year was one of my favourite teachers. And when I saw him with Dylan, he told me I was a model pupil. Blimey. I know. And then Derek, uh, Derek said he was given something in his school when he first started. And he had to practice hitting the desk with it first. He always hit his leg on the follow through and never used it on a student. I should hope not, Derek. Right, right, moving on. I have. John's got threads. No. Anyway, look, John Scott, God, this is my second collection. This is the price. This is the price. Fifty-two ninety-nine. Right now, we need to do a new, a new. Um, we need to do a new sum now. I was meant to do it beforehand, but never mind. So you need to. Well, I can work this bit out. Six thousand, seven thousand, eight hundred. Right, you need to divide fifty-two ninety-nine by 7,800. Right, 60p these work out at, 60p for 100 metres. For 100 metres it works out at 60p. So you know, we often go, don't we, oh, Warrifield Centre, it's a bit pricey, it's a bit pricey. No, it's not. Now, um, we definitely haven't got an open one of these here, have we? Who? No, Delphine got a set that we gave her before it launched. Oh, blimey. So not only has she taken the quilt home, Delphine, she's also taken the thread home. Right, OK, I'll show you. I'm going to open this one. Right, we'll keep this one as our studio sample and we'll write studio sample all over it. Have we not? Yeah. Now we sold, on my birthday, we sold nearly 300 of these. Right, so, paprika. I'm sorry, Bruce. Oops. Paprika, pale yellow. I'll explain in a minute why I did that. And then you've got dark turquoise, right? 
Then you've also got Marrakesh. You've got Tremonto. Oh, the box, look at the box collapsing. You've got Tremonto A. Zaglioli. And you've got Pink Taffy. What I wanted, because I was doing the garden, and I love a brightly coloured garden, is I wanted a variegated i definitely wanted variegated in it but i wanted a plane to go with the variegated but not particularly an obvious one so i chose to have this one which is your dark turquoise with your marrakesh then i had the yellow one with the tramonto azoagli and then i wanted the red one with the uh, pink taffy so I could have put a pink in there, but I decided to go for a red, because there is a red within that there. They're beautiful. They're, they're um, oh, Egyptian cotton taken to Italy, created this beautiful 50 weight thread. All the boxes are signed, and you can slide this bit off and keep this bit if you want, because the, that's the box that they come in there. Now you're not, you can't see the colours perfectly in here. I'll leave them there. Beautiful orophils, whether you're quilting, piecing, dressmaking, doing decorative stitches, embroidery machine. Lovely colours, aren't they? $52.99. Stunning. Even though I say so myself. Absolutely beautiful. 50, that's how much Aurofill boxes are now of this size. 52.99. Oh, excuse me. I just saw a pair of earrings going around on my screen then. No, they look like, um, well, they look like tantalite, don't they? They were tantalite. Are they kyanite? Oh, he's lost them now. Bruce has lost them now. Well, I think it's because uh, Frothy Dave's on, isn't he, next door? Yeah. That's his surname. Troth. Dave Troth. Frothy Dave. Beautiful. I'll let Kat do that because I can't do that. Grab your hand. Right. Now, when I first saw this, I was like, why have we got this? Why have we got this? Right. Five nine nine. Now, I looked and I went, magnetic? It's not magnetic. Yes, it is the end here. Is magnetic. I was going to do this. Oh, that was me. That was me because I grabbed it wrong. It's my biscuits. I put them over the other side of the desk. Look, message from Susan. I have to say the gripper each tool is better than a more expensive one I purchased on Amazon. A long river, long river. Don't you be taking those. Eh? Look, it's brilliant. It's brilliant. If, you if you're at your sewing table and you drop something, like, did they make something yesterday with pineapples? Hawaiian. Um, oh, no, they've been a bit tight. It's, it's a bit, oh, hang on, what's this here? What's this? What's that? Oh, oh, that shouldn't be here. That's from yesterday's C C Crafter's Companion. Better give that back to Sarah. What else have I got down here? Now you see I've got all sorts, but if I just show you this as well. Are they in the right place? Look, the end is magnetic, so you can pick up your pins with it. good isn't it so if you're sitting at your sewing machine you drop your pins or your needles something like that and you, you've got a bad back or you've got a few dexterity issues it's fantastic for things like that i wouldn't i wouldn't use the magnet i wouldn't try and pick anything the magnet's brilliant for doing things like that but i wouldn't try and lift something heavy like don't try and pick up your whole i don't know hot dog stand or your fridge with it or anything like that <laughs> I don't know why I said hot dogs, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> They're laughing at me now, going, don't go on a game show with John. Family fortunes. 
What's the most likely thing to pick up with one of these? Oh, a hot dog stand. Anyway, they are brilliant. Uh, and also fantastic for picking up rubbish. Uh, anything like that you want to take. It's a really, really good... We're reaching down over the back of the sofa when Steph's dropped what? Anything. It's dirty pants. Picking up Steph's dirty pants to put them in the washing machine like that. And for those of you who don't know, Steph is Hannah's boyfriend. He's still just boyfriend, still a girlfriend, not anything more serious yet. Because it would really, really upset Kat if you, not this Kat, if you get engaged before she does. No. Anyway, I'll move on. I'll move on. That's at uh, 5 99 It's really, really good. Next. Oh, pick them. Have I? Here it is. I've only got what? Oh, okay. Hello, I'm just trying to get it out of the box, though. So. Right. Now, if you look at this, right, I'll put it here so you can see. You kind of think it's the weirdest looking thing. Right? But if you need, look, that one's flat and that one's pointing. If you need to press something, you want your iron near your fingers, you can press it like that and hold your fabric with this down like that. Or if you're sewing and you don't, you don't like putting your finger too close, so it's a very uh, intricate hem, you can sew and you can use this. Don't put your finger in, John. You can use this to just feed the fabric through your machine as well. $9.99. Now, we did our price comparisons when we launched this. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Morning, John. Lovely to have you back. Ah, oh, thank you, Lucy. Maureen said, in the 50s, we had an infant teacher who used to roll her tongue in anger and grab the girl's long hair. Oh, no, we don't condone anything like that. Right, uh, we've got a price price. It's not exactly, it's not direct one because it's a different supplier. £15 and sixpence. Ah, it's almost that. It's not the same. It's not the same. Not the same. Bruce, why would you think that? Uh, no, I will not make silly mistakes, Bruce. I write that 50 times. Nine ninety nine. Oh, right. I thought you were coming back to me then. That was all. I'm not listening. Hannah's directing the shots now as well as producing and eating off strawberries. Ooh, a bit fizzy. Oh no. 9.99. 9.99. Right, moving on. Needle bundle. Sewing machine. Uh, sewing machine needle bundle for Janome. So you've got your super stretch, you've got your blue tip, you've got your red tip, and you've got your purple tip. I don't know why the purple tip come in such a posh box. Very strange, because that spoils my shot. Isn't it? Getting three pounds off. Stock up on your needles. Blue tip, super stretch, red tip, and purple tip. Purple tip is effective where, oh yeah, when you get um, skip stitches, try a purple tip, that'll always work. Red tip, larger iron groove to accommodate metallic and heavier threads. Blue tip, long groove and pierce point, excellent multi-purpose needle, recommended for difficult or synthetic fabrics. And then last but not least, well that's super stretch, obviously for stretch fabrics. Saving three pounds. Gorgeous. Have I something that Baffa uses all the time? The bulky sea made at three pounds forty nine. Now this has come down in price. I thought it was more than that.
Use this tool to help sew over bulky seams or jeans, on jeans or other thick layered fabrics. Keep the presser foot horizontal to help feed thick layers evenly and stitch consistently. Some machines come with it already, like my 680 comes with one of those already. But if you haven't got one, it's a must have if you use thick fabrics. <coughs> Fantastic, £3.49. Has Jenny Jackson been in while I've been away? Oh, because there's a letter for her on, on that shelf behind you. £3.49. It's right on the top shelf. Yeah. Oh, she's in next week, so I shouldn't get it next week. Who's that giggling? People, people who need people. Anyway, £3.49. Moving on. She's singing away, not telling me what we're doing next. Calico, no, we didn't have that when I did. I've never done presenter training. Ever. Calico, £2.79. This is pre-shrunk calico. Yeah, the, oh, there's a bit of a smell left on it. I love the smell of calico. Look how wide it is. It's a lovely smell. I love it. Uh, lovely smooth if you're going to be doing <clears throat> pattern making, twirl making, backs of quilts that hang on the wall, backs of cushions, red work, anything like that. £2.79 for half a meter. I'd say it was 55 inches wide, I might be wrong. Don't know where the tape measures have gone while I've been away. Oh, there they are. Chicka chicka, boom, boom. Dunk. Oh no, 60 inches wide. 60 inches wide, got it wrong. £2.79, you're going to do a bit of draping on your stand. Now, has anybody bought any of the new um, heart, uh, mannequin jet? I know you did on my birthday. You should have had them by now, shouldn't you? Tomorrow? Oh no, I've got a couple on tomorrow. I've not seen those before. Jean says good morning. Good morning, Jean. <coughs> Tomorrow's isn't any of those though, is it, that I've got in here? Yeah. Which one is it? What, even the ones you're talking about for tomorrow? Who oh, have they? Not with me though. And what colour are they? Okay, not to worry, not to worry. Anyway, £2.79. Loads of you there. Susan. Morning, John. Glad you're back and enjoyed your holiday. Looking well. Read your book. Fantastic story, reference book and life story. Must do book two. <gasps> Let me finish selling book one first, Susan. But thank you. It's been very well received. I fix out. Keep going through for that. <coughs> I've got what? Sewing room mugs I've got. Yeah, here's the tape measure one. We've got a still this thing. Oh, it's open now. Let me show you them both so you can make your mind up, right? That doesn't work like that, we'll have to do it from the front. Right, so there's a scissor one and a tape measure one. The graphics are in for the tape measure one at the moment, right? So, it's, oh, there you go, there's a still of it there. The handle is like your tape measure, 9.99, designer mug. And then across the body, you've got a ruler, knitting, pin, it's not all in proportion. Uh, pin cushion, 
Uh, thimble, buttons. Do you want to see the moving one? I haven't got a cat's not in here. Sewing machine, scissors, pin, threads, needles. Oh, she's back now. Whoa. There you go, look. So nice, you're gonna make a nice big latte in there. So, I'm presuming it's dishwasher proof. They are, so if it goes wrong, blame Hannah. <laughs> Norm, they normally write on the box, don't they? A description on the web. Microwave, Ooh. and dishwasher. I'd wash it, obviously, when you get home, this one's a bit grubby inside. Anyway, that's your tape measure one. What's the matter? In the 60s, we had a bulge teacher who used to throw vegetables at us on the back row as our class came on the morning. Oh, hang on. We used to throw vegetables at us on the back row as our class came on the morning. Our copies of what magazine, what comic? Bunty. Bunty. Was it Bunty, Janet? No, we didn't have heat in those days. Right, moving on to the scissors now. <coughs> <coughs> this one is ideal for keeping your pens in and things like that. Yeah. Oh, if, if, when you drink your, your tea, you can drink it like that, but be careful because it gets hot. Always. Well, you keep your scissors in it. That'd be a... a, a What's the word? Not ironic. Picture of a scissor and keep your scissors in it. Nice, isn't it? Nine ninety nine. So your scissors moving at a, f a fast speed. I'd say that one. Chop 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 chop. Good chopping. Nine ninety nine. Right, put that back in its box. I have got, oh, I knew she was going to ask for that. Which one, the 10 inch or the, or the, the, both? Okay. Oh, is that, the, okay. I'll be with you in a minute, caller. The death. Right, which one first? 10 inch layer cake. Right, so this is called Make Time <coughs> by Anila Hoey. <coughs> Excuse me. The aircon's getting to me already, look. Uh, 10 pounds off. <coughs> Excuse me, let me just take a slurp of my honey water. No, not honey water, ginger water. I've not had any throat issues the whole time I've been away. <coughs> I've come in here three hours, four hours, five hours later, and it started again. <coughs> right, Dr. Bruce, what can I do to make it better? <coughs> okay, sign me off. Sign me off. Go on another holiday, he says. So you've got your scissors, your stripes, your checks, your square dots, your um, red work cross stitch we go through the blues and the greys then we go into the kind of what color would you call that rust terracotta orange <coughs> and then we're on to the uh creams a coup or would you what would you call that Biscuit, no, not biscuit. It's soft, soft grey. And then we're into the pinks there. 10 inch squares, 42 of them from Moda. So you know it's good quality. We've taken 10 pounds off that price. Beautiful, 37.99. Jackie, Jackie. We were very trendy at 15, says Janet. I should have known that, shouldn't I? Looking was big when I was. 
Uh, I had the best teacher ever in primary school, Mr. Strathern. He taught my dad. He never once had to use the belt. Oh. As everyone in the class loved him. He made learning such fun. That's what's important, isn't it, Elizabeth, about teachers? No, my copy of your book was on my bedside table and it went missing. Turned out that Dean, one of the cats, had decided to be better in his nest under the bed. Blimey. That's a very discerning catch you have there. 47.99, 40 two and a half inch strips. Same fabric that I just showed you. Crashing. Ten pounds off. Ten pounds off. Oops. Thirty-seven ninety nine. Ten pounds off now. Didn't didn't Rebecca Reed make things out of this? Okay. And where's that quilt? Do you know what it is? It's at her house. I don't know. Right, you know? Now, these here are fat quarters that we've cut. It's not the whole collection. You get 10 fat quarters, already good, at £3.74 and a half, a fat quarter. Here we go, so let's have a look. <laughs> there we go, 10 fat quarters. Okay, you know £10 comes off here. £27.45. Uh, 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 uh. Anna. £27.45. £22.45. That makes each fat quarter £2.24 and a half p each. For a designer mode, a fat quarter. That's fantastic, isn't it? You get 10. 10 in your bundle. Twenty two forty five. Twenty two pounds and forty five pence. Hundred percent cotton, fat quarters, these are beautiful. Look, it's nearly time for Stuart message on my bottom my favorite primary school teacher was miss fox so inspirational hook me on music and sewing never raised her voice once from carolyn oh <gasps> see that's a sign of a good teacher right covered buttons coverable buttons from um living in loveliness she's on this week fabric covered buttons plus instructions five of them for 199 All packed, ready to go. How big are they? Oh, it doesn't say. Looks about half an inch to me. None of the important bits. Oh, it's a bit bigger than half an inch, five eighths of an inch now. Single figures now, 199. You get five buttons for 199. Daisy thread cutter with needle threader and detachable yarn la, yarn la, la, dan, ya, la. <laughs> I'll start again thread cutter with needle threader and detachable lan yard yeah the blades in there no the blades are in there sorry the needle threaders in there I can show you look <laughs> Always check you with your airline because they'll help your flight, Hannah says. The blades in there, just check with your airline whether you can take them with you. I'm sure you'll be all right, but just check. And then your needle threader is in. Oh. There it is, there it is, there it is. There's your needle threader. And what? It's real tan, it's not a fake tan. 
Yeah, but look at my liver spots. I hate getting old. And here's your detachable lanyard. Four ninety nine, four pound ninety nine. Okay, turn it all now. I need to warn you. There's only ten of these in stock, and it takes us forever to get them back in again. Eight ninety nine is the prim turning tool. Make sure you check out. There's only ten left of those. Going for a break now. When we come back, Stuart will be doing the quilt behind me. It's gorgeous, Tilda. Tilda. But in the meantime. Check out on these because there's only 10 left. Right, I will see you. I was about to say I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you uh, in about four or five minutes' time when Stuart's going to be making this. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Have you heard?
heard about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street, you can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos, and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. He was just doing an impression of me, going, oh, John Scott here. He thinks it's funny. All right, geezer. Who else is laughing? No one. Oh, the gallery are. No, it's Hannah's fed... choked. That's Hannah choking on <laughs> off strawberries. She's eating strawberries, which are out of date. She goes, "Well, oh, they're a bit fizzy." Uh, fizzy fruit. No, yeah, so it's fizzy. like hummus can go with fizzy. Oh yes, and she had foot. What was he had fizzy the other day? Coleslaw. Coleslaw. Oh. The other day. Anyway, should we go on with this? Stuart's here to make us a quilt. He's going to make the whole thing in an hour. Look, these are magic hands. Right. You get over 14 fabrics. Oh, listen, I've gone again. <clears throat> you get over 14 fabrics in over nine meters. Complete instructions. <clears throat> now, all these floor, all these here are all Tilda fabrics. This here, well, I'll show you when I open it. It's mode de grunge, but I'll show mm. you when I open it. Mm. <laughs> there we go. So yours will arrive looking gorgeous like this. Might have to do it this way around for you. Right, instructions, full instructions, first of all. You'd think, I have a week off, you'd think they'd get the upstairs camera working, wouldn't you? So there's all your fabrics. There's all your instructions. Now, it looks like it's gonna be a very, very complicated, complicated quilt. But Stuart assures us, it is not. Right, let's open the box. Ooh. Do you want to use this, John, rather than breaking no, the tissue? No, open the oh, box. Oh, one for you, one for me. Yeah, okay. this one's, I think someone's already opened this one, to be honest, because look, the tissues, I'm, I'm not going to damage the tissue. Oh, oh, I love opening a box like this and getting it all brand new. Mm. Um, you must feel like this when we send you oh, uh, the kits and the fabric and everything, you get all excited opening well, it. Well, absolutely. And Deputy Joan and I, morning, lovely Deputy Joan. Oh, yes. Um, and I opened the box together. Oh. And and um, Joan is a massive fan of Tilda, as I am too, of course. And it was Joan who did the samples. And um, oh, we just oohed and aahed for a good hour looking through all the fabrics and through the design. Now, I've never, I don't think I've ever seen these before. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's called Garden Life. Oh, it's beautiful. It is, you know isn't what? it? I, no, no, I'll, I'll get it. I'm just getting it out first, then I'll show it, I'll show it all your fair. Um, I think Tilda gets better with, not with age, but with as we go along. Because when I very first came across Tilda, years and years and years ago, I went, yeah, it's nice, you yeah. know, but but now, it's like when we did that range last week or the week mm -hmm. before and everything, they, Chic escape. they're getting, to me, they're getting more and more exciting. I think the thing is, you know, fabric, like all things, has fashions, it has development, it has sort of trends and what Tilda I think are very very good at is creating trends yes. and, and also being very much at the start of the curve of trends so you know when we were all loving shabby chic and Scandi, very recognisable Scandi designs, Tilda are at the forefront of that. Now they've developed into perhaps richer colours, more dramatic patterns. It's still very vintage, 
but it has a modern vibe to it yeah, as well. Exactly. The colours, the dynamism, and also the combination. And their quilt patterns are just getting better and better and better. I just yeah. love them. Well, I'm coming over. Hang come on, on to me to come over with you so we can have a look at these together. Fabulous. Because... There's my little line. There it is. <laughs> look how gorgeous these fabrics are. They're just... Exquisite. Now, you get all of these in your kit. <clears throat> so... I mean, they're just fantastic. The, the artwork on them is just beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, and Tilda always puts stuff in the background too. So what you think might be a plain background actually has this tiny, almost running stitch design going through it. So there's visual interest everywhere. The detail in the printing is second to none. It is, no, completely, because there's the same one then in that beautiful, beautiful colour there. Yeah. Then we go on to like nasturtiums. Mm -hmm. Love the, them. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Nice in a salad. Oh, yes, they are. Dulcie, my friend Dulcie won't have yellow ones, though, in her garden. Oh. So if one comes up that's yellow, it's gone. Go Petunia. On. But I like you say, look at the background on yeah, that yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, isn't that cool? It's, I, it's almost like a quilting pattern. Yes. Beautiful. So you've got petunias, poppies. Mm, love that My print. poppies are just coming into bloom. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. What colours? Uh, I don't know, yeah, I think they're going oh. to be... Well, they're, they're at that point when they're a pod like that, so they're going to... The next couple of days, I'll be able to tell you. Gorgeous. What's that? It's a very pretty flower. Yeah. Yes. Well, we're not Percy Thrower, are we're we? We're really not Percy Thrower. <laughs> Decade no, no, that. Yeah. Who's <laughs> Percy Thrower? <laughs> More nasturtiums. They don't even try and be kind, no, do they? No. Who's that? Yeah. Oh, it's like one day I was talking about um, Liza Minnelli. Of no, course. I, and I went, I went Judy Liza Garland. Minnelli. Yeah, Judy Garland. Liza. And they went, who's Judy Garland? I said Liza Minnelli. Who's, Judy? Judy? who's Liza Minnelli? Anyway. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, I love that one. That's got to be my favourite, I think. Yeah, it's adorable, oh, it's the isn't leaf. it? It's the leaf fabric. Uh -huh. Look That's at the right. detail in there, though. Mm. So you get all your fabrics, then look at these. I love grunge fabric. I've never seen that one before. That be Now, this is where, uh, they, in this quilt pattern, whoever designed this quilt pattern, been very brave, because they put that as a border. Now, if mm. you look at those fabrics, you wouldn't necessarily think, oh, I'm going to put that yellow grunge with it. But how gorgeous does it look just to finish it off? Yeah, it's good old colour theory, yeah. isn't it? Purple and yellow opposite each other mm. on the colour wheel. Yeah. Such a gorgeous combination. I think the really daring move was using deep purple grunge as a background, yeah. as our neutral to make exactly. everything pop, but doesn't it work? Exactly. And then I've just borrowed your um, I've just borrowed your instructions here. They have all the fabrics, they're all lettered and everything like that, so you can follow your way through the That's whole right. pattern. And what makes it really easy to reproduce the quilt exactly is that you get eight different fabrics in the florals, in the bright florals, okay? And they're all labelled A to H. And then you get your background fabric, right. right? And then you get four greens, those are for your leaves. Oh, yes. And then you get your binding fabric. Perfect. So actually, each block, and the block is shown over here, each block in the quilt is identical. So you repeat that block, well, the whole blocks anyway. Yeah. You do make some half blocks as well. But they're all identical. So in terms of where do you place the fabric, uh, it's very, very easy. But once you've made it, right? Mm -hmm. Um, you've got that pattern, that just that picture alone there in oh, the yeah. plane. I want to make it in solids. How gorgeous Absolutely. would that be in solids there? Joan and I both said exactly the same thing as we were looking through. We were talking about, oh my goodness, let's make it in solids. Let's make it in cave. Let's make oh, it in there. Yeah, exactly. I just said, because you really see the pattern. and the, I know when you look at it, you see it there, but that is a real floral. It Let's really do is. florals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or if you wanted to pick out your favourite colour, like maybe pinks, and you could have all of the, the flowers in pink. Oh, in different coloured pinks. But start off with the tilde. Yeah, 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 know, yeah, yeah. And definitely. Joan really enjoyed making this. And she said to me too that even though each block has, you know, lots of little pieces. Well, actually, they're not little pieces, but it is very easy to piece and very quick to piece. That grunge fabric from here looks like Dupion silk. You know, the, the, the I call it icing sugar silk. Yeah. It's that, it looks like a really, really gorgeous silk from here. It is fab. And it's a really good size quilt too. It's 72 inches wide by 80 inches in length. Yeah. So that's going to be the perfect size as a topper for a double or a queen size bed. Mm -hmm. It also makes a magnificent wall hanging if you've got a larger wall or hang behind a bed. Yeah. You know, brass, an iron bedstead. 
beautiful. Okay, now the price is $209.99, split pay of $69.99. Hannah's not happy with that price. £20 off. Love £20 that. Pounds coming off that price. $189.99. Look at the split pay, $63.33. Now, no interest charge whatsoever. No. Uh, three split pays, that is. Three, three split pays. So, now, if you want to take split pay, because there's no interest charge whatsoever, we will send this out to you when we take the first payment. It's not like those Christmas clubs where you have to pay all of it before you get anything at all. Literally, the minute we take that first payment of 63.33, plus your PMP if you've not bought anything else today, but if you bought something else and it's covered, um, then it'll be sent to you straight away. I know, then you can do what Stuart's about to do with it all now. Mm. Mm. And I just think the fabrics that uh, have been used in this quilt are absolutely exquisite. Like you say, you've got those beautiful greens. And where, perhaps if we were picking our own fabrics for a quilt and we were going for greens, we might go for tone on tones, batiks, solids, that kind of thing. Um, this design, these fabrics are so much more and they bring so much more richness mm. and depth and visual interest to the quilt because you've got those bluey greens in this one here, all from the same range, but you've got those bluey greens in the background there, almost greyish blue greens, in you know, like some hostas of this colour, uh -huh. aren't they? Yeah. Love Before the those. snails have got them. True. Um, and then you've got things like, you know, just a little bit of orange in there just to lift the whole thing. You've You've got pinks, you've got uh, lilacs and soft blues in there, which just help to add so much more visual interest. For me, in many ways, Tilda is like the country, soft, gentle version of K Facet, really. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because they do in a much more gentle, soft, floral, romantic way, exactly what Cave does, which is to say, if I'm doing green fabrics, they are all the greens, yes. and I'm gonna throw in some purples and some pinks and some oranges. But these are not loud, shouty fabrics. These are still gentle, soft, mm -hmm. but they've got real personality. Absolutely, absolutely. And, a, and a kit like this is a great way of just boosting your color confidence. Use a kit. See how it goes together. You know how it's going to look when yeah, you finish yeah. it. So be confident. You'll love every stitch. But then when you move on after this quilt, you'll never look at green fabric in quite the same no. way. Well, no, it's like you say, if we went to a shop to buy yeah. green, we would have just bought tone on tone green. Yeah. You wouldn't have thought of adding all those floral prints <clears throat> and mi indeed mixing those greens all together. Exactly. You know, it was Picasso, wasn't it, who said, I don't know which way around it was, but if I run out of blue, I use red. Yeah, oh, okay. It's a really famous quote <laughs> from Picasso, or the other way around. And it's like, artists do that. Yeah. But most of us, mere mortals, me included, absolutely me included, yeah. go, okay, leaves, they're green, green, aren't they? So let's get some greens. And flower centers, they're yellow, so I'll grab. But of course, we're surrounded by nature of that defies those mm. rules. So why shouldn't we in our quilts? Exactly. And then, as I say, you've got these eight beautiful, oh, look, you can see where Joan, like a little mouse. Oh. You see? Like a little mouse. <laughs> Just a nibble. Yeah. Just a nibble. <laughs> oh, bless her. Uh, gorgeous uh, colours that you're then going to use to create your floral wreath. And again, it is this delicious mixture, you know, even though you might say this is a blue fabric, this is a pink fabric, but then you look within there and there's that soft green, there are these beautiful uh, golden yellows and then those pinks in the background, and not a solid pink background, but patterns, uh -huh. so that even the smallest piece is interesting, vibrant, and fabulous. Mm. Just love that. And then, of course, that background fabric that you're getting, the Moda Grunge, you get a great big chunk of this. And this is a beautiful fabric. I really want us to do Moda Grunge here. Yes, definitely. Because we see it in a lot of um, kits and everything like that. Oh, but yeah. then we just never sell it by the half metre. And just to use <coughs> as a semi-solid, as a tone on tone uh -huh. in your piecing, you know, you can make a whole quilt just out of grunge. But um, it's just a beautiful foil. 
And then that fabulous Oh, it was yellow. a peony. So it's a oh, collection card. Oh, thank you. Of course it was. Oh, yes, Caroline, my pop is in bloom. There were three amongst the lettuce, but now only two. Me thinks my hubby added them to the salad. Oh, dear. Oh. oh, I don't think that's a good thing, is it? Well, you can eat poppy seeds, though, can't you? So you must be able to eat poppy leaves. Oh, I don't know about... Well, I don't know about poppies, you know, but, I mean, you can eat potatoes, but you can't eat potato leaves. No, you can't. So, right. who knows? Well, are you still both around? Are you both OK? Well, she managed to type it, so that's yes. fine. <laughs> OK. Oh, yeah, but I do love nasturtiums from the garden in a salad. They are delicious. Do you do just the leaves or just the flowers? I think you can eat both. both. We're not, we're not telling you well, to no. do this just to be on the safe side. Yeah, I definitely the flowers. Definitely the flowers. Same yeah. with pansies, isn't it? Little yeah. pansies. Twenty pounds saving on this lots. You put it in your basket. Well done. One hundred eighty-nine ninety-nine, sixty-three thirty-three. What you say, Han? Quarter of the stock is gone. Doom, like that. Just like that. Just like that. Just like that. Now then, little demo. Mm? Should we little demo? Yeah, come on then. Okay, right. So. That's what you're here for. <laughs> I thought it was just for my charm and good looks, John. Yeah. Honestly. People Maybe. think we're related, you know. Why? They think I'm your son. <laughs> <laughs> they think you're my mother. <laughs> oh, I always remember somebody saying that. It was so funny. Uh, you know, somebody got all dolled up and said, I feel just like Joan Collins. And one of the people there said, you look like a mother. Oh. <laughs> <It's> like, oh. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah. Anyway, look, this quilt is really easy to make. OK. OK. The whole thing is made with stitch and flip units. OK. Which oh, we've, wow. I know, you wouldn't believe it. No. So you're only going to cut squares and rectangles okay so for example if you have the fiskers guillotine oh, style yes yes okay ace strips squares or stripology or anything, yeah. stripology perfect you know easy cutting and then um you are going to cut out a square of your leaf fabric. Right. So this gorgeous, glorious nasturtiums, sweet peas. And then you're also going to cut a couple of squares of your Moda Grunge. And on the back of each of those squares, mark the diagonal using a pencil or a chalk wheel or, you know, your chosen yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, marking method. I don't tend to use... Um, a friction pen for doing this simply because if I've marked up a load and I've had them in a little wallet for any length of time they might have got creased and then I'll pop them on the ironing board and, and iron them. Gone. Do you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I know what you're saying. So, um, Alison Marion knows what you're saying as well. Oh, did that happen on air? No, no, no but she says, hi all, just switched on, the quilt oh. is amazing. We were talking about you, Alison, all we good things, obviously, were. all loving things earlier. We were. I was having a lovely chat <coughs> last night with Alison. Oh, hang on. Uh, I love the banter between you two boys. Have you thought of doing a stand-up comedy evening? Uh, well, which one will be the funny one and which one will be the straight one? <laughs> Stuart, you made me choke choke on my coffee. They think you're. They think when you said they think you, they think I'm your son. Hilarious, you to a magic, <laughs> Anne in Sleaford. Uh, hang on, that's Pam Miniani said that. Christine says hello, welcome home, John. Um, oh, she's saying that she loves the video of the blocks. Yeah, exactly. Where's mine? She can't see it. Oh, Nothing the to do competition with blocks. Okay, they? The competition yeah. blocks. I looked through them yesterday. I was blown away, you talented lot. I know. Absolutely amazing. And only 12 can be chosen. I know. So enjoying the shows. Thank you both for a great morning from Penelope in Carmarthenshire. You're welcome, Penelope. It is our pleasure. Me and mum, child. What, what? This is just because you're enjoying it so much. Hey. £30 off the initial price, 179.99. Okay, now it's until stock starts now. Be quick, be quick. Or at midnight. It goes back up at midnight. So please be careful. Gosh, right. John, everyone who's already checked out their baskets are we clapping their hands. Were they Ace. indeed? Were they nice. indeed? Now, um, sometimes when we do stitch and flip, we sew either side of the line. But today we're just going to be sewing straight down the line. Okay. okay. Um, so in that case, you don't want a quarter of an inch seam allowance on your machine. You actually want a centre needle position. I'm using the Brother FS uh, 250. 
and um, oh, excuse well, you me one do. second. Oh, you, you're out bending down like that. I'm absolutely fine. Oh, he's gone a bit flustered. No, I'm all good. I'm all good. Hey, no, I'm all. I'm like a bionic man now. I can bend. I can stretch. See me leap. See my. Oh no, that's quite enough. Yes, that's quite right. enough. Okay. Now, um, obviously, you're following the line here. Yeah. Or I like to go just literally the width of the needle towards the corner towards the corner that I'm going to press to. Right. That just gives me, you know, that bit of clearance. Mm -hmm. uh, just helps. Snip my threads. I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to do the other side. This is easy, easy sewing. Lemon squeezy. You know, because you're, you're, um, you're sewing on a line or next to a line. Yeah. Which just makes the whole job much simpler more successful but you notice i still pinned really well either side uh -huh. don't get it's very tempting when you're making something easy especially for those of us with more experience to get a little bit gung-ho yeah. do you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. it's like cutting lots of strips isn't it we're all a bit like oh i'll have the radio one and next thing you know you've cut two and a quarter instead of two and a half yeah yeah so, you know, you still want a really fine finish and a really good looking quilt at the end of all of this. So what I'm doing now, I've got my hat nails out and I'm just flipping that back. Hat nails? Hat nails. Hot nails. Is that I always say north? I've got hot nails because I use them for ironing. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. Let's have a look. Uh, oh dear, it's dropped into my basket with some extra wide fabric too. Shush, don't tell anyone from Carolyn. Well, I'm not saying anything, Carolyn. Carolyn. We saved 30 pounds. What, what, what extra wide back did you put in? Ooh. Now what you want to do when, you, when you're doing this, yeah. you want to check that when you flip that corner back, it is lined up absolutely beautifully and perfectly with the square that's underneath. Right. This is why you'll never see me stitch through the center and then rotary cut off the excess. Right. It would be easier, it would be slightly <coughs> yeah. quicker, but then if that wasn't there, I've got nothing to flip that back and check it against. I don't know whether that block is square or not. No. I need it to be square, so I'll keep it there. And then the quickest way to get rid of those corners is to go in with scissors rather than a rotary cutter. Do you never ever leave? Would it be wrong to leave that triangle in there? Well, it's just adding two extra layers of fabric all over your quilt that you don't need. Right. It's more layers to, or more weight to manoeuvre when you're quilting. Mm. And I know that might sound like a, 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 a bit dramatic point, but that bit of fabric multiplied but, by all of those units yeah, 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 is yeah, really yeah. going to add yeah. up. Um, you know, and it's not actually helping us there. If you hand quilt, you definitely don't want extra fabric there, you know. So, so that's that unit all made. Easy peasy. Oh. Lemon squeezy. And were those, were those squares both the same size? The two grand squares were the same yeah, size? Yeah, they were. Okay. They were. Is that, a, is that a leaf then? That's a leaf. So that was good. That was exciting. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, you know, it's just lovely because if you want a nice project that you're just going to sit and enjoy and you can make a load of leaves it's easy to keep track yeah because you've got the same four fabrics and you're going to use the same number per full block mm -hmm. and then you have got some half blocks as well but nice and easy okay. so that's our first little demo that's the leaf right now a little point if you bought my woodland wishes yeah. quilt bundle in the nine o'clock hour, I didn't get to demo the corner block or the uh, border block. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Different dimensions. Yes, of course. But exactly the same method. Two squares, opposite corners, flippy corners. So if you missed that earlier on and you needed that demo, uh, that there it. it is. There it was. There okay. it was. Right then, next up, we're going to make a flower. Right. Or a quarter of a flower. Because what I want to show you here, if you have a look, where's the good one? Maybe this one right here? This is our bloom. And a lovely little four petaled bloom. And I love how this has been quilted too. We'll talk about that while we're having a little look. So you can see on this bloom, you've got four petals that come together with a little purple center. Each of these units is called a snowball 
block. Right. And we sometimes talk about snowballing the corners of a quilt or the corners of a unit. Um, and it's as easy as stitch and flip at each of the four corners, okay? Right. And that just creates this little octagon shape that gives the illusion of a circle. When you put four of those units together, that is your flower. Now, Deputy Joan had a lovely idea. This would work, well, there's two variations. If you, I don't know how much of your grunge you would have left, your yellow grunge for the binding. Right. But you might, and you could oh, get some from your stash, yeah. you could um, do some little turned edge circles. You saw a demo this morning, how to do that. Uh -huh. And you could applique some little yellow circles or orange or red or whatever you want to do. Uh -huh. Flower centers aren't all yellow, right? Yeah. You could cover buttons Oof. and do covered buttons. You could do regular buttons that you stitch into the center or you could do little yo-yos. Could you not also do that, those f stitch and flips in the yellow? You could. You wouldn't have enough <coughs> yellow. No, 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 no. You'd have but to if you yeah. picked your yellows, mm -hmm. you could. And then all you would do in order to do that, it's a great point, John. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you don't just stand there looking pretty, do you? I can't even do that, mate. Can't even do that. <laughs> All you'd have to do to do that would be have a whole face do... lift. Yeah, no, thanks. <laughs> I can say it for you. Kate. Don't say it. You'd do three that were purple and just one that was yellow. Yes. It wouldn't matter which side, just as long as it was one of them. Yeah. All right. Now, when you position your stitch and flip units, you want to make sure that your drawn line is going, kind of cutting across the corner at every point. Right. So in other words, not pointing into the center. Mm -hmm. There isn't a line then cutting the corner. That's all you've got to remember when you're doing this. I'm going to bob some pins in and then I'm going to stitch again. And John, the same thing here, same principle applies. Rather than sewing directly on the line, what I'm going to do is I'm going to position my needle, the width of the needle, towards the corner that I will cut off. Okay. So just about here. And then that gives me the width of the drawn line to flip it back. And it just gives a better finish. Of course. I'm just going to pin now, John. Right, that stiletto that's made its way into your cup, is it yours? Or it else? is mine. I do buy things, you know. Honestly, what's he like? Well, no, because I knew there was one in here this morning. Oh, no, actually, that is yours. No, that is. Listen to me. If it's not nailed down. <laughs> but I have got my own somewhere. Oh, John, you are terrible. But I like <laughs> Message on my bottom. You two. <laughs> laughing so much, nearly fell off the ladder. Oh, oh my Pamela. Watching Pamela, we ladder. ladder. Please do a sewing cruise together. Oh, that would be fun. Alfie Bo could sing Heaven. So you want Alfie Bo, me and Stuart. Cost you a fortune, though. It really would. Yeah. Just for him. Imagine. Now then, now then. I'm John Scott. I was going to say Alfie Bo. Doesn't speak like that. I don't know who that was meant to be. <laughs> Alison Marion says she's making the delivery on Thursday. I'll come in yes. and wave at you from the catwalk above the studio. You're not in on Thursday, though, are I'm you? I'm not, unfortunately. Yeah, you should have to wear ankles up there, because I can see her ankles up there. <laughs> Love oh, you two both together. Welcome back, John. Have you had a, I hope you had a fabulous holiday. Pam, I did indeed. Thank you very much, Dick. Uh, remember, all the fabric you get is here. It's um, a total of over nine metres of... T right, now, it's not all tilda. All your pattern there. There are all your tildas from Garden Life. All the beautiful leaves and the flowers. And then your background and your binding are uh, uh, Mo de Grunge. I've never seen the, the, I've never seen the, the golden one before. I love that, that one. that, isn't it? Love it, love it, love it, love it. And, and the 30 pound saving, and you get the instructions as well. I know, it's fantastic. And you know as well, John, a little, little recommendation I'm gonna make is oh, this. Yeah. If you have got a bit of tilde in your stash, mm -hmm. And not necessarily from Garden Life. It might be from the brand new range, Chic Escape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there's absolutely no reason why you shouldn't slip a little bit in. Well, what was this one called? You called this one Chic Escape. Oh, that's Danger Mouse. Danger Mouse, right? So if you, Daisy you could, Field. Yeah, you could. If you had, when we launched this uh, last week, the week before, 
Pop a couple of green, you know what I mean? If yeah, you've got you your could. own favourites, you just pop them in, couldn't you? You could. What I would do there, John, is oh, I yeah. would make some units. Yes. Um, and then I would, you know, make lots of these units. Yeah. Make some of the extras as well, and then have a good old play with them. Because what you want to do is you want to make sure that any extra fabrics that you put in, you disperse. So if I was using that purpley pink daisy field, yeah. which is glorious, you might want a little bit up here, you might want a little bit over here, yeah. and you might want a little bit down here. You just want it so that it's not all in this area, yes, yeah. in this one block, yeah. or in here. And often when we introduce a new fabric into a quilt, or there's a quilt, uh, fabric that we're not too sure about we can tend to just put it in one area and then think oh that looks really odd yes. or you put it in one block and you think that really stands out and it's just trusting the process that by the time it's here here and here your eyes are going to be darting over that quilt and it'll all make sense yes of course okay such a great value kit this you're getting so much fabric, a beautiful design. It's relaxed and easy piecing, but there's plenty to keep you interested mm -hmm. because, you know, every little flower is made of four units. Now then, I've sewn on those four snowball corners. Yeah. I'm going to set my seams just by pressing. Uh-huh. And if you're not familiar with doing that, all that's going to do is help bed your stitches down into your sewing. Uh -huh. You'll get a flatter finish, an easier finish, and then back out with the old hot nails, a little bit of a finger crease along the corners, just to make sure everything's square and true. And as the hot nails aren't for sale, oh, it's gone. They, uh, we had the, um, the, the, this morning we did the, yeah, it took the eye out so we talked about Stuart's hot nails. <laughs> um, we dropped the price to 26 99 for early bird today, that iron. Oh, was it? Yes. Oh. Yeah. And I, I got a text about why, because it should have stayed at the special price. It wasn't an early bird that was supposed to be reduced, but Hannah reduced it. Oh, I see. see. But Brad's then the not best... naughty. We weren't told, were we? No. But the best things about the early birds are there things we want and need. Yeah, exactly. It's not clearance, it's not a sale no, item, no. is it? It's something we really love. And it's something that they, they're all things that sell well anyway. Yeah, you that's don't need right. to reduce the price at all. That's right. Oh well, gosh, I was here the morning that Vix had the Alpha rotary cutters and it was just... She had an Alpha ro rotary cutter. Rotary, so not Alpha, sorry, Fiskars. Fiskars. And I was sitting outside ready to come on thinking, well, this is, this is amazing. Why is it? Rotary cutters. Wow. A great. And mini iron. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. Um, so I'm just snipping those corners off. Now, I know that we sometimes say you could sew an extra seam and you could use these <laughs> triangles for something else. But I'm going to be bold and I'm going to stick my neck out now. Yeah. Please don't shoot me down. But I think those bits could actually go in the scrap bin and they could go off to, to for rags for charity. You don't, or, like, you don't or, just throw them away. No. But, you know. Susie puts them in the bottom of her rat's cage. It's true, he's laughing. It's true though, isn't it? It's a rat bed. This week, we are sleeping on liberty, yeah. guys. <laughs> so are all rats French then? <laughs> Don't be throwing that down there, because I have to tidy that up later. Exactly. Anyway, get going. I'm a guest Gee, today. I you two like. could do a live sewing in the theatre show and then do a tour. I know, that would be really, really fun, actually. That would be really fun. I would like that. You know, I did... Um I mean, I've done many, many tours, as you have, um, I know, um, and some of them have been in theatres, in like literary festivals and things like yeah. that. I remember going once and it was a theatre in Kent, I can't remember exactly where, but it was everything I wanted it to be. It was a proper auditorium yeah. and it was proscenium arch. Oh. And on the stage, they'd actually put like, a, you know, um, an oriental carpet and a, a, a leather it's sofa. It's like a bracket show. It was, it, what, you know, I was watching them on YouTube the other day, my goodness. Um, and, you know, standard lamps and coffee table oh. and all that kind of thing that was in conversation with. I just loved it so much. It was so kind of intimate yeah. and special. There's something so special about theatre. I started my career in theatre and that the whole... Did you? You've never mentioned that with anyone famous.
Oh, John. My first job, no. <laughs> oh, grab yourself a cup of tea and a comfy chair, everyone. This may go on for a while. Uh, that was the end of it. <laughs> oh, stop it. Go on. Go on. I'm kidding. No, I want tea now. No, that's fine now. Come on, don't be passive aggressive. No, doesn't not... <laughs> no, it doesn't matter. It's fine. It's <laughs> right. I don't mind. My first job was called Tafta Taffies. <laughs> And there were just no, uh, no, um, it was all, it was, it, it doesn't matter, really. it was nobody famous. It does, it's lovely. Yeah, I loved theatre, I loved working at theatre. Were you almost a child? Were you very young? <laughs> no. No, because no, I'd done two degrees by then, I was older oh. than everybody else. What was your first degree then? Uh, teaching. Of course English, it was. English and drama teacher in Yorkshire. Yeah. Then I went to Wimbledon School of Art and did the costume course. How fabulous, how fabulous. Anyway, moving on. Right, I'm just getting the last row in position. And you'll see here, we've got a couple of rectangles of our mode of grunge oh, that yes. make up the back. And there's a few squares and rectangles dotted throughout to create this center. Can I ask a quick question? Mm. Is this, I was looking earlier, is that one long like sashing bit in there? Um. Yes. Because when we started, we said, oh, hang yes, because there's a, is that a big square? Oh, no, that's Yes, there is, there. Yeah, yeah. There's a long sashing yeah. in between. Sorry, I didn't mean to throw you then, but it was, oh, no, no, I, no. I was looking at it earlier thinking, I wonder yes. why there's sewn 12 squares together, but actually show you here on the pattern. You'll oh, be able yes, to see them yes, now. Yes, yes, yeah. It's on the pattern, John, look. Uh -huh. yeah, long, long. The longness of sashing. Oh, well, see, so literally you're just putting a sashing between between yeah. each block to yeah. recreate the column. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy enough. It's just straight lines. It's easy. But funny, there's no go none going down. No. No. I know. No. Who knew? No. no. I know. I didn't design it, John. Don't ask me. <laughs> right. Honestly. I'll just go over here if you need me. You know, talking about the longness of sashing, I always remember somebody once have, had, well, I was just talking about the longness of the sashing. And it just reminded me of something somebody once said, which did make me laugh. They'd been to see the unbearable likeness of being oh, yes, yeah. with Daniel Day Lewis. Yeah. And I said, What was it like? He said, It was the unbearable longness of watching. Yeah. Oh. Which I just thought. Ooh, was that, Daniel won't have been so very happy about that. <laughs> it was a very long film, though, wasn't it? I made the mistake once. I've only ever gone to the cinema once on my own. Oh, yes. And um, I was away working and I thought, I'm not just going to go back to my hotel room. I'm an independent person. I'm going to go to the cinema on my own. And I went to see this film about a couple that go out scuba diving. And then when they come up for air, the boat has gone. Yeah, and, it, yes. and they're just left in the water. And that's it. And then it's an hour and a half of this woman's head in the water yes. bobbing around. And I was just sitting in my chair thinking, oh, for goodness sake, sharks, just eat her. Because <laughs> I can't bear it any longer. But I saw sat there till the very end no. to see how it ended and literally at the end she's so tired from what she just goes oh and just let's go and just dress and that's the end spoiler alert spoiler oh, alert trust me you don't want to watch that film <laughs> however desperate you are for some no. kind of light entertainment don't watch that film no i just <laughs> didn't even i heard it and just didn't even bother going i thought i can't stand watching just somebody bob up and down in the water i was expecting more in fairness i thought it would be a bit like jaws you know yes yeah i thought some, there'd be no a love interest or what well, they're bobbing up and down in the water anything anything but it was just <laughs> literally i was going past in my yacht and i couldn't help but see you you look rather pretty nothing no. <laughs> oh, he's all he wanted was a shark to eat her. That's nice. Isn't it? Never Sorry. go to Stuart if you've got a problem. <laughs> uh, Jenny Jackson says, Oh my goodness, you two are cracking me up. Donna Harrison says, You two are a comedy act. So funny, cheered my day up totally. Ellen says, You two are a tonic. Spent yesterday at the hospital with my poorly husband. Oh, Ellen, oh, send him our love. Lots of love from us, both. So, yeah, lots of love from us. Um, yes. Do check out on your quilt. It's the upstairs again, so do check out on your quilt. £30 saving. It was it over or, or wall 30? Yeah, it was 30. Exactly. Yeah. Very precise. Very precise, but she did say over, so that's why I had to question it. Now then, just make sure 
that as you're pressing your units that yes. you get them kind of lying in opposition to the seams that have gone before and it's really easy to do that if you lay out your rows as you work on them and again I always like to use my nails. Another reason why I do finger pressing rather than going straight to the iron, and I always do it from the right side, is because if you just go straight in with an iron, you can end up with little yes. extra folds. And the worst thing is just ironing your seam allowances from the back because you'll definitely get folds. Okay, I've got to tell you a story about that then. Okay, good. When we used to be at Sewing Quarter, yeah. we, had, we used to have to do the pressing for the guest. Right. So if you were there and you'd say, this needs pressing, you'd pass it to me and I'd have to press it and pass it back to you. Right. Joe Carter was doing this in intricate feather quilt right. top. It was beautiful. And she passed it to me, I pressed it, She and then she had to cut. And i done that exactly what you said. Mm -hmm. I'd caused one of those things. So when she then cut it, when she opened it to sew it, there was a great big bit missing out yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah, like a chunk. So I ruined the whole thing. She's never let me Sean, forget it. Sean, what proud moment. Not proud. She's never let me forget it. TV's John Scott ruined my quilt. Yep. I'm watching that on DVD. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll be honest with you. I would just... Give it up as a bad job and do something else. <laughs> That's Jan Hill as well. <laughs> oh, I watch, not am watching, so. Oh, good. Uh, how, apart from the bit when they got left behind, exactly. Yeah. Uh, Friar Anne, is that like Friar Tuck, do you think? Oh, I'm hoping you work in a chippy. Oh, yeah, and that's maybe. Friar Thanks Anne. Thanks for a lovely morning with lots of tips and laughter. I saw Rob Brighton at the theatre on Sunday. Ooh. <laughs> That's nice. Uh, my grandson came out of his bedroom to see what I'm howling with laughter. <laughs> Tears too, says Carol <laughs> in Catfan. I don't know what's so funny. Well, I was going to say the best thing is when you say, it's my sewing programme. You go, what? Yes. What? What's funny about sewing? And it's so funny because when Sewing Quarter first started and I came on and started, we had so much thing going, this isn't what sewing's all about. Why Aww. is he being noisy? Why is he making jokes and things like that? thing is, it's always always been my mission to, to be tall. communicate to be tall <laughs> <laughs> to be tall and to be skinny well, um you're working towards one of them i am yeah. um still trying yeah and anyway, no, sorry it's always been my mission to communicate my joy of what i do yes because at the end of the day i think if you want to have fun and you think this looks like fun, give it a go. The last thing I would ever want to communicate to anybody is, oh, this is dreary, this is dull. And you've got to be serious. And, yeah, yeah, absolutely. If you're not in absolute, you know, sort of monastic silence and concentrating, you'll just mess it up. Yeah. I want people to know that they can have a laugh and a joke, enjoy themselves, that you should feel relaxed. And if mm. you're not feeling relaxed, have a break. Maybe look at, you know, watch a video, try of a, different of a man, methods. Of a lady you don't water. watch that video, not that one. But I'm thinking YouTube, watch a yeah, Sewing yeah, yeah. Street show again. And, um, you know, because I want people, to, I want sewing to be a source of joy exactly, in people's exactly. lives. I mean, obviously, like you were saying earlier, there are times when you've got to concentrate. concentrate. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. You're when you're cutting out, you've got to cut it out properly, you know what I mean? But it's a proper uh, tongue sticking yeah. out the side of you. Exactly. But that's also enjoyable. Yeah, yeah. That's also enjoyable. Yeah. Just to have me wittering on in the background while you're trying to do it, that's all. No, it's not wittering, it's lovely. Oh, thank you. You gentlemen are the best presenters on Shopping TV. Oh. I was looking forward to John coming back, but what a bonus. You're a great tonic. Bless you both from Lynn. Thank you, Lynn. Our pleasure, Lynn. Thank you. We really appreciate that. But what are you pinning now, then? Well, I'm just starting to put the rows together now. Right. And um, you want to just make sure that you're matching up your intersections. Mm-hmm. Which is what I'm doing now. Just to make so, sure that So, you know when you, you press it with your, your finger with your nail? Yeah. Before you pin it together, do you press it with an iron as well? Yeah, I went back over yeah, it with yeah, yeah. an iron and just made sure everything was flat. Yeah. But you know what? Quite often when I'm piecing, I'll, I'll finger press and that's it. And I'll go straight to the, sewing the next rows together. Because actually, you, you, there is a danger with too much pressing and the wrong kind of pressing that you can distort. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Your units. And, um, you know, so you can sort of shoot yourself in the foot sometimes. It's, it's just knowing when to and when to leave well alone. Yeah. Really. 
It's a bit like life. When to do and when to walk away. Yes, exactly. <laughs> the thing is, I suppose, when dressmaker, as a dressmaker, you absolutely press after every single scene. Do you know yeah. what I mean? So yeah. going into quilting, I, I found when I first started piecing that I was doing that automatically. And then but I that's think, not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing, but I was also doing that, pressing the life out of it. So by the end yeah. of some, I'd be like, why is this one too much, so much longer than that one? So it's, yeah, yeah. it's getting that happy balance, isn't it, really? Why is there a big chunk missing in this piece <laughs> I've just cut <laughs> out, John? <laughs> All right. Jean's off to work now. She'll put the telly on when she gets into the shop. The sewing oh, group will Jean. love you too. You better be quick. We're only here for, he's only here for another 10 minutes. Is it 10 minutes? Yeah. Where does the time go? It's a wonderful atmosphere. You're in my work office at home and it makes a such super work environment. Not much work gets done though from Karen. Yeah, because that's not our fault. Terrible work environment. Yes. And you're me distracting <laughs> you. Another message on the bottom. Thanks both of you. Over the last few weeks, you guys have rekindled my love of sewing after many years. You two are so entertaining from Alison. Thank oh, you, Alison. That's lovely. You know, a lot of people's memories of sewing might be from when they were at school. And for some people, that was a wonderful, amazing experience. And they were really inspired. And for a lot of people, it was quite regimented, quite difficult yeah. they weren't working on projects they loved or they had to spend so long doing the same things over and over that by the end of it they didn't want the thing they'd made exactly um so you might have had different experiences in life my mum certainly her sewing experience as a as a youngster and a young woman was very much born of necessity rather than pleasure mm. and you know having to grind through something but now we can make a positive choice to do our sewing. We're exactly. doing it because we love it. It's with beautiful fabrics that we've chosen. It's really different. You are right. You're so right, Stuart. It has to be enjoyable and fun. You two are a tonic and show how wonderful sewing is. That's from Maureen. Uh, Jan says, I always watch Sewing Street live or recorded when I'm sewing. Half the time, I've no idea what's being made, but I've loved... <laughs> The, sh the chat and banter on the show. It's called a quilt, Jan. He's making a purple quilt. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, I know what you mean, though. You sort of it, it does. It almost doesn't matter yeah. what's going on. It's just you're kind of there with us. Like it Love is Island, fun. really, isn't it? Oh, stop it! I got a text. Got a text. Now I, do you know, I flicked on about. 60 seconds that's all I could bear of it oh no I don't know which 60 seconds you did and it was literally this woman on a lilo or whatever grabbing her phone going I got a text and I thought of any moment to see this is the bit that makes sense <laughs> because that's the bit I know that oh, you I thought talked. you were going to say you're, going to, you're watching the saucy dance in the oh, other no, day oh no 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 as soon as I'd seen that bit I thought you know what I kind of feel like I've seen the whole series thank you goodbye Friar is my nickname oh Fryer Pan. I don't understand that, Anne. Oh, Fryer Pan, Anne. I've got it now. Oh, I get it. Thanks Big for giving pan. me such a laugh today from Anne. Jan Hills just sent a funny face. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Some of us haven't got a choice. It's the only one I've got. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's like I always say, they go Gemini, they're two-faced. I was like, if I was two-faced, would I have chosen this one? <laughs> Caroline. Oh, hang on. Oh, yes, Mrs. Oh. Lineker. <coughs> we sewed some oh. lovely work, and because funds were tight for the school, we had to unpick it for the next class. Mm -hmm. I cried a lot. Oh, Carolyn. Yeah. yeah. And often, if you were good at sewing and you got on too quickly, you were made to unpick it all so that you were held back because the class was going at one pace, and that was that. Oh, my goodness. You know, um, or I, I've heard from, from ladies who, you know, had done a lot of dressmaking at home with their mums, went in with, you know, and it was almost like, well, you're not coming in my class with all this previous knowledge. Oh, no. I'll, I'll, I'll start that up. I now have a lot of sympathy with teachers, of course, having been one myself. And I do understand, and I think, you know what, if I had 30... 13 year olds who think everything is hilarious yeah. which is a great thing but then you've got machines and scissors and needles and electricity and i think do you know what i would be a dragon yeah because it would be the only way that you'd get through the day yeah, isn't no, it completely. really and then it's not just one lesson you've got one less of 13 year olds then you've got 14 year olds oh, then you've got 12 year olds stop it <coughs> i feel sick i need to go home <laughs> 
But then, you know, I went to, because I could talk primary, yeah. but then I went to teach for a, a college group and I taught um, 16 to, well, there was no upper age limit and I had students who were in their late 70s um, and, and that was absolutely delightful. Oh, I could imagine, yeah. You know, it's just that what I would consider a funny age that I wouldn't cut. See, a lot of people say, oh, four-year-olds, how could you? Four-year-olds are amazing. Yeah. You know, it's just your comfort zone, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly, totally. Yeah, I, I, my, my favorite, oh, thank you. My same teacher told me that I would never sew anything as I couldn't sew a straight line. I'm 81 and I've never stopped enjoying it from Yay. Margaret. Oh, no, she's your neck of the woods, North Yorkshire. Fabulous, Margaret, well done. Aww. You can't keep a good woman down. No, exactly. But who needs to sew a straight line? There's exactly. plenty of great designs out there that don't use straight lines. Well, you've not done one yet this morning. Well, that's true. That it, no, I sewed around a circle. Yeah. Now that's not true, John. Okay, so I've right. pinned that last row together. Yeah. So I'm gonna sew it. And big thanks to Joan, to the deputy, for all her hard work, by the way. Aww. Joan's my, well, she's not unsung because I, I talk about, about her all the, all the time and I absolutely adore her. Um, and we, we're such a great partnership. What's lovely is that we get excited about all the same things. Aww. And just as excited, and neither of us thinks the other one is silly because we want to spend two hours just stroking a pile of fabric. Yeah. We just egg each other on. It's Aww. great. Are you going to be, I know you're at a festival of quilts this year, John, are you going to be at Ali Pali? No. 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 No, festival of quilts, that's all. Oh. When is Ali Pali? I'll be, it's I'll, about I'll, the 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, something like that of um, October, I think. Oh, is it? I think so. Well, I might just come and visit. Are you going, are you got a store? Yeah, I'm there Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I'll come yeah. and visit. Yeah, do. That'd be lovely. So again, when you've added that last row, you just want to go in there with your iron first of all and just set your seam. And it is, like you said earlier on, you've got to get into every process and you've got to learn to enjoy every process. Yeah. So the ironing is just as important as the cutting and the sewing. And Oh, but I like that bit. I like the ironing bit because it's when you've sewn, especially when you're doing like a log cabin or something and suddenly it all presses out beautifully. It starts looking like something really gorgeous. Exactly. And Exactly. I think, you know, I remember when I was making my first few quilts and I was just, it was a rush to the finish line. I couldn't wait. As soon as I started quilting, I wanted it to be finished. Yeah. And I really lost sight of, what am I doing this for? I don't need bedding that much. <laughs> yeah, if I needed a duvet that badly, I could just go buy one. But um, it was like, look, learn to enjoy, learn to slow down and enjoy every single part of the process. Then you came to work here and expect four quilts a week. That's correct, exactly, <laughs> exactly. But then that also appeals to a part of me. Very much that sewing bee, you have 60 minutes yeah. to do this. Yeah. I like that because I like that sort of working under pressure because because actually that pressure does feed my creativity well, yeah, yeah and that also creates adrenaline as well it doesn't does it? now I would definitely recommend when you come to do your final press yeah. you get some steam on this to press all of those seams really flat you want that steam so that your seams will lie absolutely flat yeah but there is the finished block. Fabulous. And how gorgeous is that? It took Sue a year to make a skirt at school. This is it. <coughs> this is it. By the end, by the time you'd finished a garment, it wasn't in fashion anymore. <laughs> but uh, there was it in fashion to begin with, or was it just Well, there like, is that. Yeah. There is that. And also, of course, you know, with if you're making it for yourself, when you're a teenager, I mean, your body's different from one week oh, to the yeah, next, exactly. let alone a year. Let alone teenager, but yeah. Um, <laughs> when you're in next, <coughs> when you're back. I am back on Sunday. I'm here Sunday, and then I'm, on Monday I'm going to be doing an open day at Pinhole Quilting, Fabulous. talking about long, and then I'm back on the Tuesday. Right. So Bex Reed is sandwiched in between oh. a slice of me. No, she's the slice, you're the bread. 
I'm the bread. Yeah, yeah a slice of me either side. Oh, slice of bread. I she's think sandwiched she's in between. No. In between. Anyway. It's uh, anyway, it's lovely to see you. I'm just going to oh. do a recap of this quickly because this is £30 less than it should be. Price will go back up at midnight. You are getting over nine metres of fabric. You get all this gorgeous tilde for your flowers and your leaves. Look, it's lovely, isn't it? Beautiful. From the Garden Life range. Uh, then... For your binding, you've got that beautiful gold grunge from Moda. And for your backing, very brave, we've decided. But beautiful uh, grunge purple, regal imperial purple. Right, there are 20 in baskets. Need to be checked out now. 179 dollars show, show, Showing you how to make it. You get the full instructions. Uh, everything you need for 179 dollars If you decide to take split pay, it will be sent to you after you've paid the first split pay and don't forget at midnight tonight it goes back up to 209 was it 209.99 it must have been yeah 209.99 so if you've got it in your basket make sure you check out before midnight that's all i'm going to say Stuart, thank you ever so much always a pleasure you're very welcome john it's been absolutely wonderful to see you after your holiday thank you you're looking glorious let me tell you thank you really healthy and happy and relaxed yeah you watch tomorrow tune in tomorrow won't oh, be oh you'll be like a husk, <laughs> husk you'll be a shell of a man it will be uh, and i'll be back in uh, oh i've got new but well they're brand new to me batiks and a sewing machine uh, straight after this break <laughs> Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7 full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Have you heard about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street? You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? 
Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PP all day. about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street. You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app, onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Just ask Bruce, is that advert far on, on, when I send Cat, producer Cat, not this cat, uh, um, a WhatsApp message, she puts on one and a half times because she knows it's going to go really take forever. So she puts on one and a half speed and she was listening to it the other day and, she, and mum said, John doesn't sound very well. <coughs> right. I've got these most gorgeous batiks. I've got two sewing machines, which I'll talk to you about later. But first of all, these are brand new to me. You, there's no bundles, they're just by the half meter. I, you, you, you're gonna be so spoiled for choice, I can't tell you. And, they're what? £6.49 a half meter, that's it. No, they're not on sale, you know, as in they're not reduced, clearance, anything like that. 
brand new. Now, now, some of them will be very, very limited. Because I'll be honest with you, they've been on air once before. Was it with Vix or Bex, you say? With Bex, right? So many have sold so much, because they're so popular, right? Just have a look at them again before I move them across the table. Aren't they beautiful? Oh, now, Batik, you know Batik? So what they do is they get a piece of fabric like this and they put wax on it where they don't want the dye to go. So you put your wax on, then you put it in your dye like that, then you pull it out, then you have all the wax removed, then you put another pattern on in wax where you don't want the second dye to go, do exactly the same thing again, and keep going until the whole thing is finished. It's fantastic. There's so much work goes into a batik fabric, I can't tell you. These are some of the most beautiful colours I've ever seen. They're just stunning. Now, I also, okay, but I also need to tell you very quickly, right? If you're looking at these on the website, the pictures are dreadful. They do not do them any justice whatsoever. So don't be thinking, oh yeah, John said that's nice, Batik, I'll go and look on the web later. Get them now. Get them now because the colours are just exquisite. I'm going to start with this pile first. Right, yeah, oh, they're just... I don't know where to start, so I'm literally just going to start at the bottom of the panel and go. Wait, wait till you see this. Wait till you see the patterns. They are... Now, this is the other thing about Batik. They do have a right and a wrong side. FYY H23. They do have a right and a wrong side, but you can use either side, look. You see what I mean? See what I mean? They're beautiful, aren't they? And look at the colours in there. <coughs> Obviously, you've got your yellows and your golds as your main print, but look underneath, the undercurrent of colour underneath. This one's called black and yellow. I thought it would have some really lovely romantic names, no. Oh, Bruce has just seen the photo. And the photos are dreadful. So well done if you get this, because it's beautiful. This is what you're getting. <coughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We haven't picked a really nice piece to bring on air, because the rest of it looks like the photo. This is what you're going to get. Let me hold it up for you. Look. Look, 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 look. I, I have to say, black and yellow does not do it any, any compliments whatsoever. In fact, I don't, can't see any black on it. Victoria, I'd say it was 44, but I'll just double check for you. We'll take my just around. Hang on a second. Hello? Stuart's still behind here. Oh, you don't know what I'm talking about. I had to go behind the quilt to get the tape measure. Sorry. Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> oh, this one's actually 45 inches wide, this one. So we'll call it 44, because we're friends. 44 inches wide. They are exquisite. Oh, Judy said, my own teacher made fun of me because I'm a lefty. It never stopped me, though. No, it shouldn't do. Uh, Michelle said, I chose fashion textiles at GCSE. And they cut the course as there were not enough students wanting to do it. Grimey. Oh, Hannah used to be blamed for everything going wrong. Nothing's changed then. Right, so that's that one. Now I'm going to go with this one, DXYH53. If you want to see any of them again or any together, let me know, let me know, let me know. You see, look at this one. When you think of the workmanship that's gone into these, the photo's even worse for this one. At 6.49. It's what? Oh, they've called this one yellow and black as well. Oh, how are you supposed to tell the difference? Is it that good? I, yeah, 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 let me have a look. Oh, no. They've taken it in a plastic bag, have they, or something like that? That it does, yeah. Anyway. This is what it looks like. It's not black and yellow at all. 
It's green, it's gold, it's red, it's orange, it's beautiful. Okay, it's making Hannah want to go to Mexico. My friend Barbie's going to uh, Petra. She's decided to go to Petra. It's lovely, isn't it? Right, moving on. Remember, if you want to see any of them again, or you want me to describe colours a bit better or something like that, just let me know. Now, pink on pink, EXYH74. Ooh, that's right. Oh, look. Oh, how beautiful is that? Uh, £6.49 for half a metre. The, the shapes in there are really quite, um, I don't want to say organic, that sounds a bit, um, it what? They remind Hannah of cactuses, but they're lovely and curvaceous and very sensual, I think, some of these shapes in the background. 6.49 as well. This one's called red, right? There's nothing red about it. I think the person who took the photos also described the colours, to be honest. £6.49, it's beautiful, isn't it? I would say it was, it was, I'd say it's got red in it. It's a cherry pink, if you know what I mean. It's that lipstick pink. It's lovely, absolutely beautiful. £6.49 for half a metre. Just love the shapes in there. Yeah, lots of people multi-buying. Well done if you're doing that because um, you can dress make with it. It's slightly finer than your normal cotton, but only oh, you can make beautiful summer dresses out of them. Blouses. Uh, now we were talking earlier about loungewear. Beautiful loungewear you can make out of that as well. Now this I think is the same sort of design, but this one's pink and green, and it is P X Y H fifty. Oh no, take that back, it's more paisley this one. I was going to say it's nothing like the same pattern. We call this paisley pink. It's just called pink this one. At least they've got one colour, right? It's a lovely, beautiful, soft, romantic, gentle pink. And then this splash of like lime green. All these are bright lime green colours and apple green in there. It's beautiful, isn't it? Again, photo on the website, not so good. Beautiful, aren't they? 6.49 for half a metre. Oh, I've just seen the one. Ugh. And we're not going to show it to you at home, but the pictures, the pictures on the web do not do it any justice whatsoever. Beautiful, such beautiful fabrics. Isn't that lovely? Oh, I've got to move on, stop looking. Uh, next one is GM... YH48. This one's just called purple. Purple, as they say in Liverpool. You see yellow, gold, apple, lime green. You've got beautiful midnight blues in there. You've got magenta. You've got blue over there. Well, they've got, they called it purple. I wouldn't say there's any pure, oh, there's a bit of purple there. Lovely. Let me hold it up for you so you can see what it looks like. Okay, it's not beautiful. It's an overall pattern. Just stunning, isn't it? Lovely. Okay, moving on. Now going back to a, like a two... Well, it's not two-tone at all. None of them are two-tone, really, are they? Uh, so this one is called... Uh, uh, it's not called uh, anything. R-N-Y-H... R-N-Y-H-86. Now this is purple. Oh, purple slash blue. Yeah, okay, I'll agree with that one. The background is like a very, it's not, there's not much variation in the background. It's nearly all solid purple, but then there are splodges of like a 
marine blue in there but then you've got all these lovely prints you got the sensual ones about the lovely curvaceous ones are back here or the cactus ones santa calls them but they're in like a paler blue kingfisher in there it's lovely i'd love to know what you're going to make out of these or you're just going to make a quilt out of them because um batik quilts are just beautiful aren't they absolutely lovely now I've got uh, dark blue with pale blue, and the number is FLYH09. Oh, do you see that? It's stunning. It's the same print again, but look at the colourway. The work that's gone into these are just incredible. Oh, isn't it Fly? Yeah, Fly09. Uh, fly, uh, oh No, no, that's right. We called it dark blue, this one. Just beautiful. Like I say, if you want to see any of them together, if you want to see any of them wafted or draped or anything, just let me know. Love that one. Absolutely love that one. Oh, that one's limited now. Right, FXYH73. Oh. Lots of people gone for this one on pre-order. They've called this one blue and pink. Now, what's funny about this one is the colour that they use makes it look 3D almost. Because these pink flowers look like they're raised up above the blue background. That's lovely. Imagine if you got this and then you did a few little either beading or stitching on top of there or anything. It'd be lovely. Again, 6.49 for half a metre, 100% cotton. 44 inches wide, machine washable. Oh, now, one thing I would say about batiks is I would wash it before you use it. That's my own personal uh, recommendation. If you put it on a quilt, because sometimes they've been through so much dye that they just might have a little bit of excess that just needs to come out before you um, sew with it. That one's beautiful, no wonder that one went. Uh, now, this is very subtle, CWYH81. Look. And this is like under the sea, this one, isn't it? But like when David Attenborough finds a special little sunny little cove or something. Funny little coves with David, sunny little coves with David Amber. Light blue fabric, this one's called. Nice. Of all the colours. It's beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. Now, I move. Oh, what, what? A beach bag, be nice. This is nice. I think seeing you in a sarong in this one. Said G YH61. As Hannah says, so wrong, but so right. I'm thinking little Paul in his, you know, short sleeve shirt and he's in Ibiza with the lads right now. In every picture, he's got a beer going in a paper cup. This is lovely, isn't it? <clears throat> what kind of tree do you reckon that is then, Hannah? Big tree. Fir tree. Beautiful six pound forty-nine. Gorgeous, moving on. I haven't got that one in another colour. I don't, oh yes, I have a tell a light. Tell a tell a light. I've got it's got it in another colour. G V Y H twenty seven. Yeah. Yeah, no, I thought that. I thought, I looked at this one thought, oh, no, that's feathers. But it's not. Same print. Unless the other one was feathers and we just didn't see them in the green. Yeah. Oh, peacock feathers, Hannah, seeing on that one. Yes. She's gone a little bit stir-crazy because she's off now till the weekend, I think. Have I got overlockers tomorrow by any chance?
649. Lovely. Yeah. Now, look at, I love, love, love this one. CTYH15. See, now that's saying merma mermaids to me. Oh, yeah, Derek's getting some of the lime green for a shirt. I think this is beautiful. But I'm seeing this in a skirt, maybe, this one. <coughs> Not for Derek, obviously. Oversized shirt, says Hannah. Bruce. Bruce is going to run you one up. Right, E S Y H eighty three. That's now busy. <clears throat> it's not got all the different shapes in there. You got it. I've got it in a different colour. Okay, the next one I've got is blue. But this is purple. Light purple apparently. I mean, there's a lot of blue in there, a lot of pink. This is what you're going to get. Oh, Jan thought it looked like delicate ferns. The green one and the, and the um, feathery one, yeah? I just love the shapes. I just love the fact that somebody in Bali has sat there and drawn all these swirls and all these little circles and all these little flowers. It's not, you know, it's not like a big printing machine. Gorgeous. Now I've got one in dark blue. Oh, this is nice. This is, now I'm seeing the inside of either a black velvet cape or the inside of a really posh handbag. I'm thinking, thinking Lisa Lamb. Oh, sorry, Han, sorry. Yeah, Q T Y H O one. Beautiful. Look at the ri this red in here. Oh, we called it black and blue. There's no black. There's absolutely no black. Oh, well done, everyone. Check it out. Oh, lots of them have gone. Lots of them have, have. Hang on, a lot of them. A lot of it has gone. Not saying they're sold out, but literally very, very, very limited. Oh, that is that red in there. The red. It's Madagascan ruby. I'm thinking. Oh yes, in your Buddha quilt, make your Buddha out of that one. Well, any of them, actually. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay, now this one is N-G-Y-H-O-2. Oh, only nine metres of this one left. <coughs> this is only the second time you've seen them. They're like brand new. I've never seen these before. Look at that print. Now that looks like a bit like, um, um, what's it, tribal art almost, doesn't it? Is that the right word? I don't want to be offensive to anybody, but it's kind of like, I wouldn't know the names of the tribes. <laughs> but I'm thinking New Zealand. I'm thinking those, is it New Zealand, the, one, the, the ones that do at the beginning of rugby? That's what I'm thinking, big butch men in grass skirts. Messi on my bottom. Hi, John. Very late checking in Stone Street today. Loving these fabrics. Are they suitable make dresses, skirts and tops? Please say so. I can get ordering. Yeah, L. Who's that? Who's L? Did you have a name, Hannah? L? L. Yes, you can make skirts. Yes, you can make blouses. Yes, you can make dresses out of them. And I'll tell you the thing about these batiks is I wouldn't make a winter weight one. I'd make a summer because it's slightly lighter weight than our quilting uh, cotton.
but uh, they get nicer and nicer and nicer the more you wash them, these fabrics. That is beautiful, I love that. Love that. Well, our producer cat. Has she brought in her menu yet then? You got very excited. Well, I'm not, it's not time to say yet. Yeah. Not going to advertise Hobby Maker yet. You know what she's been doing, don't you? She's been in her car watching last night's Love Island. That's what she does. Because she has to come in and do the early show. You know, Hobby Craft, Hobby Maker, Hobby Maker are on at six, six o'clock. Yeah, right. Then she goes to her car. She has a bit of a sleep. She watches Love Island, last night's Love Island. No, shh. I don't know why I've done that because she's in my ear piece. <laughs> so she went to Subway and got a tuna sandwich. And why did you get a Coke from Subway? I don't know. Look at this one. Windmills, this one, I'm thinking. Oh, no, Cosmos. I'm thinking Cosmos flowers. My Cosmos in my garden are beautiful. I'm oh, sorry, Hannah. H E Y H 84. Oh yeah, I've got it in another colour. I've got it in another colour. Come in a minute, see. It's not black and white. It's not black and white. It, oh, it's beautiful. We've shown no holiday pictures, Kat. We've been far too busy to show holiday pictures. Beautiful. Yes, I agree, Christine. She says, anyone who, whoever named these fabrics must have been in a bad mood. I don't know who did it. I'll go up and, oh, it's nobody in today, it's Tuesday. Yeah. No, 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 sorry, I thought, because I'd already showed you, I presumed I'd said it, but I'll do, I'll, I'll get back into the swing of it now. No, it's all right. Grey, they've called this one. It's like a denim, isn't it? Like a soft denim colour, that one, I'd say. Bruce, did you just walk past your microphone? Because it went like this, you were talking about it. Uh, like that. Like you'd walk. Okay. He's on a small moped in the gallery. Right, dark green, JGYH64. Very popular on pre order, this one. <coughs> Excuse me. We just called it green. Doesn't it? I wouldn't help the um, warehouse, would it, when they go, could you pass the green boutique? It's beautiful, isn't it? Next one, uh, EXYH04. Now it's the same print that we just had, but now in black and purple. Well, it's black background, yeah. You see, you wouldn't call that purple, would you? Magenta, fuchsia, bubble gum. Oh, and that's racing through now. Uh, w B Y H O two. Same print again, different colour. We called this one dark purple. But there's lemon, there's raspberry, there's tangerine, there's soft blue. There's all those different colours they could have chosen. What's at the door? It's squeaking. Beautiful. O E Y H sixty 
Yeah, when you finished. Uh, blue, this one's called. Turquoise, Kingfisher. I know, mixed berries. Thank you, Jenny. Yeah, exactly. Uh, this is like a G and C. I tell you, the Mediterranean was a bit chilly like, this week. Yeah. I did swimming in the sea. Yeah. Well, not swimming, more like bobbing. They're quite big waves, not as big as California, but quite big waves. That's lovely. Do you know what? I imagine that as the background of something that Delphine is then going to create something on the front of it. Do you know what I mean? And then the last one I've got is this one. Z-L-Y-H-89. Be interested to see what colour they've called this one. Oh, blue slash light blue. What about the purple? Yeah, that was moody, that one, isn't it? Moody. <coughs> oh, crikey. Saturday. <coughs> you can't. At 6.49, Saturday's a very, very busy day. Three different guests on Saturday. One of whom is Hannah's old boyfriend. <laughs> oh, is it? She said. It's not really, it's not really. Anyway, they're all your batiks. If you want me to repeat any of those, just let me know. They're just gorgeous. Look, imagine if you got half me to reach those and made a quilt out of those. Yeah, that's it. Yes. <laughs> right, that's all those. I haven't got anything to show you, but I'll show you some sewing machines now. Oh, hang on a sec. Let me just move that out of the way. Cat. Right. Two completely different sewing machines. Two completely different makes. But for two completely different people. We'll start with the brother. Uh, this has been used by Stuart all show long. It's a fabulous little machine. Um... It's 300, first of all, look at the price, right? It's £399. You've got a split pay of £133. It does so much, this machine. I cannot tell you. Have we got the envelope with all the extra feet in? Left thing, please. Um, so you get a cover, you get an extension table, and you get an envelope with extra feet in it. They're not something we've done for you. They all come. It comes with them. It comes with the machine as it is. Now, as you can see here, you can choose your stitches here, of which there are... Oh, hang on, sorry, poor old cat's doing two things. 250 stitches. I'll just turn it towards the camera there. 250 stitches, and where are they? They are all here. Look, 250 stitches are all here. Now, the way that you choose the stitches, you put it into different modes to find the different stitches, but you, you're so used to sit doing that now. But you choose your stitches by going into your mode, and then you go into your, can, here you go, 51, 52, 53. Now, what did he say earlier? 44. 44 is your, what did he say 44 was your quarter inch foot? 46. Oh, I thought you said 44. Uh, 46, apparently. There you go, no, 46 is, a, oh no. Anyway, it tells you what foot to put on. And here's the size of the stitch, the length of stitch is where your needle is positioned. Well, let's have a look at number 46, actually. Oh, it depends which zone I'm in, really, doesn't it? Which mode I'm in. I'm in mode one, stitch 46. That'll be here. There you go. And 47 is the other way, it's a quarter inch the other way. Got buttonholes, got everything on here. You've got your mode here. Now, this machine also comes with three alphabets. They're all in uppercase. 
but you've got your normal block capitals, you've got your script, and then you've got your hollow ones there. But you also, I'll just tip that up to cat, you also get all your uh, like question marks, you get numbers, you get brackets, you get all sorts of things like that in there as well. That all comes on the machine. That's all plumbed into the machine, right? Uh, now you do get, oh, here you go, you do get, it comes with, I'll show you in here first of all, this is the gubbins box, which obviously you take off to put the, the extension table on. And this has been designed so beautifully, look. All the feet have, all have their own little homes there. I'll tell you what feet they are in a minute because I've got a slide to show you with all the different feet, right? There's your quick unpick. That, your foot there, is the one that's on the machine at the moment. And then there, all your other feet there. Beautiful. But not only, that comes out, look, because underneath you keep your needles and things like that in there as well. But not only do you get those, you also get this little envelope, which are designed for dressmaking. They say dressmaking, but you can use them for anything. You've got your um, adjustable zipper foot. Uh, you've got a Teflon foot. You get a Teflon foot in it as well. You get a blind hemmer foot there. You get, an, oh, now it does come. I think that's in there. Comes with an overedge foot as well, so you can do your overedge stitching on this as well. Um, hole piercing, that's for piercing holes in your fabric there. This is a gathering foot. Uh, you've got uh, this one here. That one's for putting your binding on, isn't it? That one there's for putting bias binding on there. This one here is your pin tuck foot. Uh, you get needles, you get a little screwdriver, you get so many additional things in here for your 399 pounds uh, i'd like to show you are you ready to show a slide first slide okay i'll need it on the big telly bruce please thank you so you've got 250 built-in stitches eight styles of buttonhole you've got a backlit lcd screen with digital stitch length and width controls Three styles of lettering, all in uppercase. You've got a quick set bobbin. You've got a needle threader. You've got your, uh, you can drop your feed dogs. And it comes with 14 accessory feet, including seven sewing feet specifically for dressmaking and fashion projects. Here's a list of all your feet. Zigzag, oh, it's gone. Sorry, Bruce, thanks. Zigzag foot, that comes on the machine. That's your letter J. Straight stitch foot, zipper and fat piping foot. Gathering foot, five pin tuck foot, non stick foot, adjustable bias binder, narrow hemmer, buttonhole foot, zipper foot, overcast foot, blind stitch foot. You also get a monogramming foot, a button attaching foot. They're all your feet. Then you get the wide table, you get the spool caps in large and small and medium. You get twin needle. So you can do twin needle on this one. You get a needle set, you get four bobbins. One will be in the machine and the other three will be in the thing. Eyelet punch, extra spool pin, disc shaped screwdriver, and they even put in a ballpoint needle. So literally, the minute this arrives at your house, you can start on it. And you know what? Don't be frightened. If you've not had a digital machine before, don't be frightened by it because it really is the kind of machine... Oops. What? You can just... Arrive, plug it in and start sewing. So long as you've got a bit of fabric and some thread, you better start sewing straight away. You fill the bobbin like you'd normally fill a bobbin. You fill the machine like you'd normally fill the machine. Um, and you're ready to go. You've got a, a, you have got a needle threader. And you have got the, the thing for your buttonhole there. Now, we've, we went to Google, Yahoo and Bing this, right? We can find them second hand, but we don't want to do a, a thing with that. The only place we find it is actually on the Brother website. Look at the price. £799. Includes VAT, but so does ours. So it's exactly the same machine. It is this machine from Brother. We just do an amazing deal with them. If we can almost cut them, but it's not half, is it 40% off? It's got so many things. You get a brilliant um, <clears throat> instructions manual with it. It's a beautiful machine. Also, please go to the uh, Facebook fan page, if you're on Facebook, and see how many people have got this. And just ask a question. Just ask a question, right? And somebody will answer you if, if you don't know, know about it. Has a three-year warranty. Now, uh, unlike the other sewing machines, this comes from us. 
These are in our warehouse, ready to go out now. So if you've already bought something today and you've paid your £3.95 post and packaging, then uh, it's covered already. You've paid for it already. It's a lovely, love. And what's Brothers', uh, what's brother's um, catchphrase? By your side. By your side. Because they're always there to help. And by your side there to help you sew and everything like that. The amount, we've sold hundreds of these. And the amount of people who just say it's the best machine, the best machine they've ever, ever had. Put the price. The price. Take advantage of split pay. Now, I always tell you this story. My mum and dad would never have anything on tick. They can't afford it. We're not buying it. We'll save up for it and everything, right? Um, it's a different world now. It's a different world now. If you want to use split pay, please, it's, it's completely interest free. And the way I always say about it is, right, so say you didn't take it, say so you didn't take split pay, right? Say you put it on your credit card and then next month your boiler broke down, you had to put a new boiler on your, and you couldn't afford to pay off it all off your credit card. Imagine what the interest would be. Can you imagine what the interest would be? I try and pay my credit card off every month because I, I begrudge paying any interest on anything. But there's no interest on this if you take it that. At three hundred and ninety-nine pounds. Oh, got another machine, another slide. Key features again. There it is with its table on. Just the same. It says nothing new on there, sir. Yeah, fantastic. Brilliant. And it's it's ten kilos. I seem to remember someone saying. And it's a real, well, you've seen Stuart using it all day today. It's a really, really lovely machine. At that price range, I, well, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? I just think at that price, price range, you're getting a phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal machine. Yeah, and a lot for your money there. And it's got a three-year warranty, manufacturer's warranty. So anything goes wrong with it, you know, you're covered. And you know that, brother, I've got a really, really, really good customer care team. So if you've not gone com computerised yet, oh well done if you already checked out today. Maybe you want a second machine. Maybe you've got your big workhorse at home. That what? What do I mean workhorse? Your big your big machine at home. You want to want to go to classes. You want want to take. The thing is, I'm saying that, saying that, saying that. A lot of people have this is their workhorse at home because it's re. When it brother, you see brother have been around for years, haven't they? You see, they're not. They don't stick around. If they're no good, they don't stick around, do they? Do you know what I mean? I'm just saying. And they've got a lot of history behind them as well, uh, brother. £399, split pair of 133 Okay, now I'll just move that to the side. Now I am going to go to a di completely different... So I'm not going to be saying Elna, brother, brother, Elna. It's not a comparable machine because this is the machine, this is the machine I've got, right? This is £1,249. Uh, I love this machine. The first time I ever used this machine was when I, um, we were at Sewing Quarter. We used to obviously sell them at Sewing Quarter and we all had to, oh no, it wasn't when we were making the block, was it? It was when I was doing the um, making twirls for my dressmaking uh, thing. And I literally, it literally, it's such a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant machine because it almost did the sewing for me. Um, what I love about this is the width of space here that you've got to work in. It's really, really lovely throat space on here. <clears throat> now, let's talk about stitches, first of all, because you have got hundreds. All the stitches are in here in the um, roof. Got a slide of it, have we? So it's in different modes. So you've got all your utility stitches there. Zero six is your quarter inch foot. You've got mode two, which is a stretch and decorative. You've got alphabets. Oh, now, the other thing about this machine, it goes to nine millimeters. So you can do the capitals and you can do the numbers in nine millimeters, right? You can't do lowercase in nine millimeter, but you can do the uppercase, but it does do lowercase as well. Yeah, lots of people ask about that. You can see it there. You can see it over there, like kind of on the left-hand side, third, fourth cot row down. So you've got the capital letters there and you've got the um, lowercase. But then if you go to mode six, they are your great big nine millimeter letters with spacing and everything. So you get the numbers and the letters in nine millimeter. Now, I know you're going, oh, seven millimeter to nine millimeter. What, um, 
What's so special about that? It makes an awful lot of difference, first of all. The other thing about this machine is don't be frightened by it. You're looking at it thinking, oh, that'd be way too much for me. I've got this, Joe Carter's got this, Stuart's got one of these, as well as many other machines. Uh, Lucy Brennan's got one of these. They are a real proper workhorse, but they're refined and they're gorgeous. Let me just turn it around so you can see the, um, there you go. So you can see the, the way you can, um, the screen there of, with all of your buttons. So what you've got on there is you've got uh, your stitches that you can choose, your modes. You can uh, set it so that you can have a locking stitch and a thread cutter at the end of each seam. You can elongate your um, satin stitches. You can do twin needling. You can mirror image decorative stitches. You can lock the machine. You can go back to stitches that you've made before. Then across the bottom here, you've got shortcuts. If I just do that, that takes you to a shortcut there to a buttonhole. You don't need to do that buttonhole because it's got about 15 different buttonholes, but it's really good. If you just want to go back to the beginning, just press clear. Oh, hang on doing it from the back there you go it goes back to its default setting there if you want the quarter inch foot you just have quarter inch seam just do zero six. Oh, hang on I, can't, I need to be able to see it uh, there you go zero six takes you to your quarter inch foot it tells you what foot you need on it tells you the length of the stitch it tells you where your needle position is uh, as for feet the feet that you use most of will all be stored in here. Oh, it's two missing. Anyway, uh, it's also got the pivot pin to do the circles there, but it also has two needle plates. If you take the gubbins tray off, the second needle plate is in there. So one is for your everyday zigzag and all your different stitches. The other one is for doing a, like a professional straight stitch. And then in here, there's room for bobbins and other feet and everything like that. I'll show you how many feet you get in a minute with this slide. And then in there, oh, there's also, I'll tell you what feet you get. That's a bit of a, because these are our working um, models, the designers take the bits and bobs out all the time and everything like that. I'll go, I'll go through the feet with you in a second. You get a buttonhole foot, you get darning feet, you get free motion feet. You can drop the feed dogs. It has a very large extension table, this one. And it also, it doesn't have a hard cover, this one. It has the semi hard cover, which is like the kind of, uh, it's not rigid, rigid, but it's kind of like a lovely red, Oh, and cat's passing it to me. Thank you very much. There you go. That's your cover that you get with it. And that's your extension table there. And you do get the legs to screw on the bottom, so it's really, really easy to store. Oh, there you go. There's the extension table. Thank you, Bruce. Right, let's have a look at the feet that you get with this, then. There you go. Look at, I mean, look at everything. It just comes as standard, right? So when your machine arrives, it'll have the zigzag foot on. It's got the letter A on it. The reason they've got letters on them is the machine will actually tell you which foot you need for which stitch. So number two, oh, well, there's a rolled hem foot, a zipper foot, a satin stitch foot, an open toe satin stitch foot, a blind hemming foot, the overcast foot. You've got the quarter inch seam foot. You've got a darning foot. You've got a convertible free motion quilting foot, closed toe, open toe, and clear toes those three or you can see that in the little square there that they're in the square there then you've also got your automatic buttonhole uh, buttonhole stabilizer plate you've got a walking foot that's the even feed foot quilting bar guide for the walking foot button sewing foot quilting guide bar circular pivot pin bobbin you get five bobbins you get um oh now what does it mean, mean by easy bobbin i don't think i got that with mine the Blue bit, blue, mine have got blue, they're red now. Yeah, they've got like the rubber bit on the top so you can put your thread underneath it so they stop unraveling. I did get those, I tell a lie. Uh, I didn't get 10 though with mine. Spool holder, small, large and special. You got your extra spool pin, you get needle set, you get a screwdriver, a lint brush, a seam ripper, a knee lifter. Wouldn't be without my knee lifter. Needle plate for straight stitch. Power cable, foot control, x-ray table, semi-hard cover, instruction book. You get so much with it. It's fantastic. And it sews like a dream. When you, um, on the uh, presser foot, you can lower it down, but you can also raise it up when you've got uh, thicker fabric to use. 
You've got your needle threader here, which is fantastic. What you need to do is when you use your needle threader, you need to make sure that the needle is in the highest point it can possibly go to. So all you do is you literally uh, do this and do that, and then your needle is at its highest point. While I'm here, that button there is your da -da 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 lock stitch. That's your reverse stitch. This here, if you, let me just, um, oh, I haven't got it in. I haven't got the foot pedal in, which means I can sew by just, oh, I can't check something. Look, I can sew just by pressing the button, I, but button. I don't need the foot there. Up here, that's your um, thread cutter. Along here, you've got your go faster, go slower. And then obviously you go to your main panel at the end there. I think if you, obviously it's a completely, it's a completely, utterly different uh, person that it's, it's aiming for. Uh, but this, if you're looking to upgrade or you're looking for a workhorse machine that is just so smooth, it's fantastic. Uh, scared to use at first, but fantastic machine, easy to use for a crafter in Greater Manchester. These are fifus from people who've bought it already. Wow, it's an awesome machine. I love it and all the features. So much quieter and sturdier than my other machine. That's what Lucy says. She can work downstairs. Doesn't wake the kids up upstairs but when they're asleep if she's working late at night. That one's for Pauline, that one. Uh, Elaine does everything I hope for. I'm delighted with this machine. Uh, Susan's. This is a great machine. I'm happy with it. The demonstration was excellent on Sang Street. That was me. And encouraged me to buy this machine from Susan in Merseyside. No, it was definitely me. I remember. And another message from Pauline. Wow, it's an awesome machine. I love it and all the features. So much quieter and sturdier than my other machine from Pauline. See? Also, split pay. Split pay, look, you can get it home for £249.80. And that'll be five of those that you pay on that one. Five of them. So if you've got any basket, please check out. It's a lovely, lovely, lovely machine. Right. Have I got the little iron here? Yep, early bird iron. Oh, I've got the case. There's the iron. Right, so, early bird. I have to stand, hang on, let me just, I'll, I'll go back over there if that's all right. Yeah. <laughs> 26, 99, now, 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 now. We were told this was our early bird, right? So Hannah reduced the price. We then got a message later on going, no, it was meant to be a special, that was the special price. So at midnight tonight, this will go back up to 28.99. Now I know it's only two pounds, but already at 28.99, it was a special price we were doing it for at 28.99. So you've got it as an extra special price. The thing is, you do get it in this travel case, right? And the travel case comes with a little pot, a little jug in it, like that. You can buy that travel case, not the same make, but you can buy that travel case for £16 elsewhere. Just the case. Nothing to go in it for £16. So take that off there. Look how, how well, it makes the iron, what? No, £10.99. No, that's not right. Makes the iron £10.99. 10? Yeah, £10.99. Anyway, 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 that's just a thought. No, I'm fine because I need to do, we need to do the menus now. Two menus, which one would you like to do first? As for tomorrow, eight o'clock, got fabulous fabrics. Tomorrow, Adam Brooks is in. He's doing the Sussex Seamstress Salt Dean dress. Then uh, at 10 o'clock, he's, uh, he's not doing, I'm doing dressmaking tools and fabrics. 11 o'clock, the Palermo dress uh, with Adam Brooks. Now, I think that one is from that gorgeous book, isn't it? The Palermo, uh, Palermo dress is from that really lovely, um, I think she's a, I'm not going to say, but it's, uh, oh, what's her name? Kinney, King, and then he said Kinky then. Kinney. Anyway, I'm sure it's from that, I'm sure it's from that book. We're just going to have a look. Oh, 12 o'clock. I've got overlockers and adjuster forms. That's going to be fun. It's by, I wasn't wrong, Kenny Swong. Kenny Swong. A beautiful book that's from. Right, so that is us tomorrow. But now, straight after me now, Cat Producer Cat Next Door, I'm not quite sure who she's got on presenting with her today. Uh, she's got Hunky Dory New Winter Wildlife Collection. Two o'clock, she's got Hunky Dory New Crafting, 66. Uh, three o'clock, oh, she's got a lot of Hunky Dory today. Three o'clock, she's got Hunky Dory Festive Iris. Oh, she's good fun, a Festive Iris. She's folding dies. Hang on, I don't think that's quite right. Is it a lady you're not called Iris? Okay, four o'clock, 
She's got a... Now, I don't know what this is. Bruce? Tyvek Masterclass with Linda. So they've got Festive Iris. They've got Linda, the Tyvek expert. And then, hang on, what's this? 5 p.m., Sky YouTube Web Exclusive, Andy's Secret Sale. What, they're not doing a normal show? Oh, it would help if Kat explained what it was, wouldn't she? Anyway, what's Tyvek? Hang on, a highly fun fuzzy bus. That's what I got from that. We need cats to come in and explain it, don't we? Anyway, it could be fantastic. Oh, fiber bus. Oh, oh I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go next door and find out now. And I'm gonna meet Festive Iris. I bet she's a lot of fun as well, isn't she? And she got bells on. I think so. Right, don't forget to check out. Don't forget to check out on your machine. Don't forget to check out on this quilt because it's going up. How much should you reduce it by? 30 pounds. 30 pounds should you do, but it goes back up at midnight. Oh, what, what? There you go, graphics coming. Should be 209.99. She reduced to 179.99. There's 20 people got it in their baskets. You can get it on split pet, 59.99, three times. I know. So it's not Hannah tomorrow. It's not on you tomorrow, is it? So it's Charlie, Becky, and um, Ben tomorrow. Ben tomorrow. Ben will be producing me tomorrow. Um, anyway, I've got to go. I've got to go because I've got to go to Toby Maker. Thanks for your company. Don't forget to check out. I'll see you tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Thanks for all your lovely messages. If you're a sewing street or yarn lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, Click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. If you're a sewing street or yarn lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day.